Awesome. Okay. So this is going to be commentary over my no abilities PD. Dealit, what's up? How's it going? Uh, so this is my T5114. I'm doing commentary over it for both AGDQ submissions, uh, any other online marathons that I can find coming up soon. And then also, uh, I think this should just be a good resource for anybody who wants to learn the run. I'm going to do my best to go through and kind of just explain why I do certain things everywhere. So it's not going to be, probably not going to be the most entertaining commentary, but uh, it'll be an informative resource for anybody who's looking into the run. All right. There we go. Also, anyone in chat, let me know if the audio is weird or anything. Uh, so first off, the timing starts after confirming character selection. I play the slower character. If you play as the male main character, you save about 14 seconds over the course of the run. Uh, you play as one of two twins, and the other twin is the different gender. And so the female Akira, your twin, talks faster in certain sections than the male Akira does, so you end up saving time in certain timed sections where you have to wait for voice lines to run out. Uh, so I lose 14 seconds by playing the female character. So if anybody is running this and wants free time save, uh, playing as the male character is faster. I just like the female character. Also, this is Astral Chain. It's the newest action game from Platinum Games. Uh, the same people who do the Bayonetta games. Um, it's a cool run. It's got a lot of stuff. A uh, little bit of everything. Lots of platforming and movement. Uh, some cool fights. The opening's a bit slow. This is more of an auto-scroller. It's a good time for introductions and everything because it's relatively consistent. There's not really much going on. You kind of just have to shoot things and wait. Uh, the only thing that really matters is the truck at the end, and that's the, the speed that you kill things at. Uh, but this is mostly just like a three minute opening section for the credits. This section also comes back a little bit later on in the game. Uh, in file 9, where there's one boss fight that we fight on the motorcycle, but outside of that, that's the only time, these are the only two times where we actually get to use the motorcycle at all. Uh, these opening files are a bit inconsistent, well, way more inconsistent than some of the later files. You're very limited in what you can actually do, just because we don't have access to the Legion or anything yet. Um, so the, the main gimmick of the game is you have a Legion that you are paired with, which helps you with platforming, fighting, all of that kind of stuff. And we don't get access to that until the end of this file, and we don't unlock everything for the Legion until the end of file 2. So we're very limited in what we can actually do for these first files, but there is some stuff that I do want to point out for the first file in particular, uh, just to think about. So this is the, the truck I had mentioned earlier. So there's three guys on the top, and you kind of just shoot to try and kill as many of them as you can, as fast as you can. I normally end truck between a 2.55, or three minutes if it's really slow. I think my best has been a 2.53. This is 7.7 .7 gigs? Wow. What section of the game is it, Jordan, if you know? I'm assuming it's just like Olympus, maybe part of Toy Box for mechs, so. Or is it like like the same demo that they did that Biz and all of all the like key keepers got to try out? Alright, so this is a, a mandatory escort section. We have to bring this injured person to the chopper. There's no way to skip this, at least that we have now. It'd be great to be able to skip this, because it's kind of just like half a minute worth of walking slowly, bringing this guy to a stretcher. But they put up a wall that you can't get past until you actually do this, so. 
At least as of now, there's no way to skip them. Okay, so this is where we actually start getting into combat. Um, it's very limited at the start here. Uh, you'll see I do a slide there just to move faster. So these are aberrations, which are the basic enemy in the game. Uh, something I can point out, uh, so at the very start you have a four hit combo with baton. Uh, your gun has a three hit combo. I try to dodge or evade um, to cancel the lag at the end of the combo. It also keeps me up near the enemy. You want to focus if you are able to. Um, there's two ways of going about this fight. You either kill the things that aren't getting shot at, and then you're left with just one guy who takes one hit at the end, or you can kill what they're shooting at. It's kind of hard to track what they're shooting at the start of that section, and then in this section where the flying guys show up, uh, you just want to shoot whatever they're shooting, and it's a lot easier to track that. You can also pick up any items that drop. It's good to sell for money later. Uh, as long as you're not going, like, super out of your way to get those items. Now we meet up with Akira, our twin. This is where we get into another timed section. So, this, this section in itself is all just timed. We have to wait for Akira's voice lines to run out. So there's not much to say here. Uh, throughout the run as well, there's a lot of downtime, which would be good for donations. This is one part. Uh, there's a good amount of sections in the run where it's just timed and you have to wait out voice lines, or like there's auto scroller sections like the ARI in File 5. So there's good points in downtime. Uh, same with like at the end of File, uh, just mashing through the promotion screens. You could fit in a donation or two at the end of every single file. And now is when we get our legion. Uh, so the legion is, the, the monsters that are here are called chimeras. And the legion is basically a tamed chimera that we have that's chained to ourselves. And it hits significantly harder than we do early on. Uh, so this fight is four waves. There is the one with the uh, one chimera at the start. Then there's these five aberrations. Then it's the three flying aberrations, and then uh, two chimeras at the end. And the chimeras at the end just continuously respawn until the voice lines run out, so this is another section where we have to wait until voice lines run out. Um, during this time I pick up all the red matter that I can, uh, all the red matter that's in this area. So that red stuff on the ground is red matter, you can pick it up with your legion. Uh, it adds to your points that are shown in the top left, which are used for promotions. It also gives you money at the end of the file. So picking up more red matter here gets you more money for later on. And I normally do, like, a combo and a half on each of them. And then Akira will shoot whenever you either get hit, you swing your baton, or you dodge. And Akira can't kill things, but he can bring them down to 1 HP. So the goal here is just to get both of these Chimeras down to 1 HP. Uh, you can just dash all over the place dodging, and Akira will keep shooting. Or you can get hit, or you can swing Baton in corners. Um, you just don't want to kill things. Because if you kill things, then another one will respawn. Uh, and then as soon as Jin finishes that line, uh, from Cranky to Murderous, you can start killing things. And then the fight ends when Max's voice line times out. Uh, this is the first instance of a chain bind, so by circling an enemy with your legion, uh, you close the chain on them, and they get held in place. You have a free opportunity to do that at the start of this boss fight, which is pretty nice because you just stay still. Um, with a combination of your hits and Akira's shots, uh, you can break this boss when he goes to shield, which stuns him. Uh, this fight was incredibly fast. I got very lucky with how that fight played out. And then we have a scripted section of just getting back up this bridge as it falls down and cars fall on us, which looks cool. Uh, there's a lot of cinematic moments in the game, that's for sure. But that's basically the end of File 1. File 1's one of the more inconsistent files, just because, again, you're really limited in what you can do. 
Uh, but it's not a bad file. It normally goes within like 20 or 25 seconds at the worst that you lose that much. There's an update for KH3? Oh no. Ooh, I guess I'm getting back into KH3 soon then. Oh, so then we go into file two. File two is a lot more combat heavy than the first file. It's a lot less just walking around. Uh, the, the opening to this file and the opening to the next file as well are really slow. So since you're a cop, you do a bunch of investigations. Uh, basically, you were a cop that got drafted into this special investigation unit thingy called Neuron, which know about the Chimeras, have legions to fight the Chimeras, and are trying to save humanity with the power of the legion. Um, and so this is the headquarters. We go through here. Uh, first, we go to the heliport to go talk to our dad, who is the captain, Max, and Alicia, who is in love with Max. Um, spoilers. But so we talk to them. Then we go back into the training area. Um, on the way back into the training area, you have to wait for Akira's voice line to run out before you can talk to Jin. So it doesn't really matter if you have like small movement mistakes here or anything, or like if Akira gets stuck going into the elevator. On this part, it doesn't really matter. On the first elevator, it does though, because here you just you can't talk to Jin until Akira finishes that line. Um, also, for all the text mashing in the game, anybody who wants to run this, uh, you can mash with A and B. Uh, just be careful mashing at the end of text with B, because uh, you'll dodge in whatever direction you're holding, which can be a good or bad thing. Uh, we also unlock Iris here, which gives us more information. Uh, you can do a slide over to the training console as well. If you are running and you input an attack, you do a slide. Uh, so you can do that in a few movement sections to just be slightly faster than running the entire way. Uh, and you want to back out of that terminal without taking any training. We have to access it, but we don't have to do any of the training stuff, and if you take a training, it's slower. Then we go back to the command room, uh, get to talk to Yosef and Olive, they tell us about our mission, and then we leave. So one of the reasons that I was picking up Red Matter in the first file, and the reason that I pick up Red Matter in this file as well, is for uh, drinks here. So we use this vending machine quite a bit. Um, there are two drinks that we buy from this vending machine which are important. I buy three spices here and one sweet peach soup, uh, so spicy cobra sweet peach soup. Spicy Cobras give you plus 50% attack, uh, Sweet Peach Soups give plus 50% attack and plus 100% charge, uh, which helps your Legion charge faster when it's dismissed. So you have that Legion gauge, um, which shows your uptime on your Legion. When that runs out, your Legion gets dismissed automatically, and it sucks to have your Legion get dismissed, um, because it fills up slower than if you dismissed it yourself, unless your Legion hasn't gotten hit at all. Um, but yeah, so I buy three spices and one sweet peach, which all get used in this file. And in order to do that, I need to pick up enough red matter in the first file and this file to be able to afford them and the items that I need uh, for the next file. Uh, we send our legion at the very start here to pick up all of the red matter on this hand, because if you don't pick up all the red matter, you get a tutorial screen telling you how to pick up red matter with your legion, uh, because it's blocking the hand. Then we use our legion to eavesdrop on these people. Uh, yeah, you just want to send your legion over there. I hold back right as I mash through the end tier to dodge back towards max, and then we just mash through all of the uh, the investigation reports, so just A and B and hitting down. Because uh, the answers that we give for all the investigations don't actually matter, we just want to get through that text as fast as possible. And then you want to uh, analyze the hand, which lets you access this next section. If you're slow, max gives you a call on your phone which you don't want to have, um, but as long as you run in the right line, you don't get that call. Uh, with crouching, like there, you don't actually have to crouch, you can just slide, and that applies for every area that you would have to crouch in the game. Uh, I use a spicy cobra at the very start of Briarios. You can perfect dodge all of his attacks, and this is where the, the legion, your positioning with the legion, uh, really starts to matter. So if you send your legion, uh, with sword legion specifically, which is the legion that we use for the majority of the run, 
Uh, when you send your Legion out, it does two hits, right? So every time I'm sending my Legion at Briarios, it hits twice. And you can spam that, so you can just do, like, one, two, call it again, send it back. Um, and because most of the time it won't be able to come back to you because of how it collides with the enemy, so you can just spam those double hits over and over again. And I try to mix that with calling my Legion back to myself, because when the Legion is next to you, it can do a three-hit combo, which hits incredibly hard, uh, especially in early game where you don't do much damage. Um, so on the larger bosses, I try to do a mix of both of those. Here, I pick up some more red matter, again, for money, and then you're able to slide here, uh, just mash through the text telling you to stop the fight that's happening, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, you need to make sure you don't have your Legion out when you come into this section, otherwise the Legion reveals a path that goes into the wall, and that stops you from moving. Um, I try to pick up more red matter as well, and then I dodge at the very top of these steps to just get a little bit more movement out. Um, then Enceladus shows up. He smacks stuff around, grabs people, kidnaps them, makes you trip over a lot. Uh, the camera gets a bit weird here as well because it tries to look at Enceladus as we're going. Uh, up here there's a bit that you can do, so if you're close enough to the wall or if you're on fire, um, you don't trip there, which I miss the fire. Normally I slide and hit the fire and then the burning animation cuts out the trip so it's slightly faster, uh, but I didn't get it there. Here you want to use a spicy and then just send your legion out and your legion, if you're lucky, will just do a spin and kill everything if it's grouped up. Uh, that didn't happen in this case, but it's fine. Also I should note, um, there's items that these things drop, which you can see I pick up with my legion. As long as you move your legion over an item, he picks them up. Uh, like I was saying earlier, with the sending your legion, uh, on these big shield guys, you can just spam 1, 2, 1, 2. Every time that your legion finishes the second hit, just hit ZL again, and your legion will just loop that combo. Um, and you want to do a mix of focusing on the bigger shielded guys, but also killing the smaller aberrations that are out. Because those smaller aberrations spawn in, I think it's like two or three at a time at most. So you don't want to kill both of the bigger shielded guys and then leave, like, still having more smaller aberrations to spawn in. You want to make sure that when you kill the last shielded guy, either all the smaller aberrations are dead, or at least they've all spawned, so that you don't have to wait for them to spawn again. Uh, and then we go into Enceladus. There's a, a good strat for dealing with this, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, at the start, I throw a Sweet Peach. You can throw it right at the beginning, which I started doing uh, a few days ago. It's not in this run. In this run, I start with uh, throwing him. But you can throw the, the Sweet Peach at the very beginning and then throw him afterwards, and it's slightly faster. Um, and then again here, I try to uh, get my Legion to do that three hit combo that he does right there. So I just want him to do the three hits, and then I immediately send him away and then call him back to try and get him to do it again. Um, and I mix that in with sending my Legion to do the two hits over and over again. Um, so then once you've done enough damage to Enceladus, he tries to uh, break the floor here. And you can just chain bind him to cancel that. And when I chain bind him, I try to get behind him. And again, I want my Legion to do that three hit combo. Uh, so I try to pull him to me to do that, uh, which doesn't always work. The Legion can either do that or he can do the spin like he did here. But either way, it's good damage. Um, here, normally you're not allowed to run um, because of the red shifting that's happening in the astral plane. But if you hold down on the analog stick, uh, just like push down on it, that still puts you into the running or dashing state. So then you're able to do uh, the, the longer dodge roll or the long jump or whatever you want to call it. Um, and out of that, you're in your run state. So as long as you do that one dodge with your analog stick held down, uh, the rest of the time you'll be running like normal, which is faster. Then we have another timed section, another good amount of downtime. Um, good for donations. Uh, this timed section lasts for about half a minute. You kind of just walk around until your character falls over. Um, Either here or in the next section, when voice lines are going, I switch back to Spicy Cobra, because I switched to Sweet Peach at the start of uh, Briarios, and I use a Spicy Cobra on um, on the Legion fight that's coming up. 
But again, this is a timed section, what you do doesn't matter. I just want to be on Spicy Cobra by the time that I get into the, uh, not the next fight, but the fight that's after. So not the, the Sword Legion fight, but the fight with all the leeches. Um, this is another timed section where the, the damage that you do to Sword Legion um, doesn't really matter at all until the voice lines have finished. Uh, so I switch to Spicy when Yosef is doing his voice lines. And you can kind of just do whatever here. Also, there's something I'm not doing in this run, uh, but that I started doing. If you watch my abilities PB that I had yesterday, because um, uh, Alcrats brought it up. If you uh, do... Three hits with baton, then switch to gun. You don't do the baton finisher. It just lets you, uh, and then and then switch back to baton. Obviously, you don't do the baton finisher. You just do those three hits, then switch to gun, switch back. So you don't get the the lag from the finisher, which can be nice here. Um, it's also pretty nice on the file one aberrations. Um, and then at the start of this fight, I pop the spicy cobra as soon as I can. Uh, this is where we finally unlock sync attacks, and we also unlock chain jumping. Um, so in this fight, whenever we flash blue from now on, we can do a sync by hitting ZL, which is like a powerful combo attack thing with our Legion. Um, and so the, the goal of this fight is basically just do baton combos into the syncs on the Legions. And there's a, a few things that can go pretty badly. Um, also, perfect dodging when you know that something is going to hit you is awesome. I'm not sure if I explained perfect dodging, but if you dodge an attack at the right time, you're able to input an attack right after. It kind of slows down time for you as well, which is really nice. Later on, we get uh, perfect dodge sinks. Um, when Axe Legion does this attack, it's really bad. I do a mix of just like trying to spam send my Legion at it and gun combos. If you're lucky, um, you can get your Legion around in a particular way that it instantly chain binds Axe Legion as well, which stops that attack. And then as soon as you break the barrier on Axe Legion, uh, the fight's over. It's just a timed waiting for the end there. Uh, we also unlock Chain Jumping here. So when you hold ZL and hit ZR, you can jump to your Legion, which helps in platforming sections like this. Uh, something I'll also point out is at the end there, um, how I do that dodge roll in midair, right? And this is something that applies throughout the entirety of the run. As long as you're holding down on the analog stick, you're considered being in the, the dashing or running state. Um, so when you hit B to evade, you do the longer jump as your dodge roll. And that applies when you're in midair as well. So there's the majority of the platforming sections where we have these longer jumps. You want to make sure that you're holding down on the left analog stick so that you're getting that midair dodge. Yo, Tom, what's up? Also, this is one of the rare instances that this has happened. I've only had it happen twice, but if you pick up enough red matter and if fights go a certain way, you can have enough points to get two promotions at the end of this file, which normally you only get the one. If you get two promotions at the end of this file, that just means that you don't get a promotion at the end of file three, which saves you a little bit of time there. Um, but it doesn't actually really matter at all. It's just either you lose time here and save time later, or you save time here and lose time later, depending on how it plays out. Uh, so this is file three. This is the slowest start to a file in the entire run, and it's not great. It's a lot of mashing. This is the file that makes me not want to reset as much, just because it's a lot to mash through. So basically, you have to run through the headquarters. I buy drinks again here. This time I don't buy sweet peach soups i just buy uh three spicy cobras the reasoning behind that is we buy fishy waters in this file um and you need enough money to be able to afford a baton upgrade which is eight thousand and then the three fishy waters you buy which is three thousand six hundred um here we meet lappy the police mascot uh this is the mashing time so uh you again mash with a and b Make sure also that you have your text scrolling in the options set to be instant and not scroll. Like I had it set to scroll for my first 
few times practicing, and it makes this way slower because you have to double input on every text box. Um, so make sure you have it set to instant. Um, like we slid last time going in, now that we have chain jumping, you can chain jump in here. You can't call your legion at any part in the headquarters outside of the training room, uh, but you can chain jump to the training terminal to save a little bit of time. And like before, again, don't take the training because there's no reason to. We get a call from Lappy, um, and then there's three places we have to go to. So we need to go here um, to learn how to upgrade, and it also gives us a camera. Uh, so this is, again, more mashing through all of Lappy's dialogue. It's a bit slow. It's sad that we can't skip it. But it is what it is. This whole section is a good time to get donations in as well. Um, or to just talk about stuff for later in the run. Uh, so here, there's the forced upgrade that we have to do, which unlocks Gladius, which is a different weapon. So we have Baton, Gun, and Gladius. All of them serve a purpose in the run. Um, Gladius is obviously like a great sword. It's slower, it hits harder, um, but there's points where using it is more beneficial than using Baton. There's also times when Baton is better because we want to get the, the Baton sync combo is super strong and it's a lot easier to get a full Baton combo out than a full Gladius combo just because the combo is faster. And then Gun on obviously is good for uh, things that are at a further range from you, so flying enemies, stuff like that. Gun is really good. Uh, all of the weapons see a good amount of use in the run, although Baton is used more than anything else, just because it's kind of the all-round good weapon. And the Baton Sync combo is really, really solid. Uh, we teleport back up to the break room, which gives us another forced Lappy mashing section, and then we come to the command room, where we mash through this again. Lappy tells us about the terminal in here, which is used for maintenance, which we never actually do in the run. And then we get a call from Marie, um, and immediately after that call, you want to walk forward. Taking the step uh, there gets rid of the delay from the call. Normally, you can't menu immediately after taking a call, but doing a step gets rid of that delay. Uh, you talk to Marie, you can skip that, and then immediately teleport up to the heliport to talk to Akira and get going on the next investigation, which is the longest investigation in the entire run. Um, the opening to this file is slow. It's This is... The, like last slow file everything from the next file onward really picks up uh, this investigation is also kind of hard it's rough to get it all to go the way it's supposed to uh, but there's mashing at the start just mash through Akira's text and then you can do one or two chain jumps here uh, you have to talk to the observant boy who tells you about the uh, the red ghost that has no legs which is what you're looking for um, after you talk to the observant boy, we do a chain jump here because it's faster than just running. You want to make sure that you don't hit the chair like I did. Um, also, I didn't get my slash out. Uh, so there's, uh, if you hit L, you go into like your sword legion stance and then ZR slashes. Uh, you don't have to talk to that guy because you automatically talk to him after slashing the thing. So you just want to slash that. I hit the wrong button. Uh, be careful again, like I said, about hitting the chairs. Uh, you can see those like little exclamation marks that pop up on top of people. If you hit a chair or a box near someone, they can just yell at you and it loses you time. Uh, we have to grab this drone. After you grab it, you want to pull up Iris, which I didn't do here um, because I was too slow. But if you pull up Iris as you talk to that police officer, it lets this drone move immediately. Uh, starting from when you pull up Iris, so you don't have to wait like I did there. Um, and then you talk to the art aficionado, he tells you about Parnassus, which is like a graffiti art collective thingy. Uh, again, just mash through his text. And then you can do two chain jumps here to get over to this ladder. Um, also, if you hit a chair and you get that exclamation mark, it delays you in a way that you can't chain jump immediately after, which is why I got the slide there. Um, and then we talk to Parnassus number two, who's doing graffiti over here, and you need to chain bind him. So you can either send your legion at him, there's like four text boxes to mash through, so you just mash through that, and then you can either send your legion at him to stun, or you can overshoot him like I did there, which is slightly faster, and then just pull your legion back to finish the chain bind. Um, the, ideally, you just don't want to stun him next to the wall, because if you do, then it's harder to get your legion around him. Um, so by not stunning him, you don't have to deal with that at all. 
which is nice. Um, and then this investigation's almost over with. There's still the crime scene that happens after, but you have to talk to this woman in order to uh, unlock the ability to eavesdrop on her conversation. So then you want to dodge roll straight back afterwards. And you can uh, send your legion to eavesdrop, which ends that investigation section. And again, like the first file, we just mash through all of these. It doesn't matter what answers we give. You just want to mash A, B, and uh, down. And then we have this crime scene, which we have to investigate. Uh, one thing in the very back, the uh, her ID. And then that gives you the ability to analyze it with your legion. And you have to mash through Oculus text. Uh, this next vending machine is important. This is where we buy the fishy waters. So, like uh, spicy cobras and sweet peach soups, fishy waters give us a, an attack increase, but this one's even better. So Fishy Water gives us plus 100% attack and uh, minus 30% defense, I believe. It's 30. Um, so we take more damage, but we deal double damage from what we normally would do. And then you want to send your Leech in here to check that red matter, uh, which lets us get to this next part. Akira tries to be cool and parkour across everything, but he kind of just ruins it all because he's not very good. Uh, but we have a legion, so we can change up across. Or or you can be like me and mess it up. Uh, don't be too close to the left side, because then you get caught on it when you try to change up. Which doesn't happen to me often, but this investigation of my PB was really bad. And then you want to send your legion um, in order to reveal this gate. And go in. Oh, TF Sauce, what's up? How's it going? Uh, so now we have the the first astral plane in this file, which also has our first set of menuing in the run. Uh, there's a good amount of menuing that we do for legion learning and getting our legions, uh, assigning skills to our legions. So here again, we're using chain jumps now that we have them. It's our like best tool in movement that we have to go faster. And here is where I do the Legion learning menu. So we unlock uh, perfect dodge sync attacks, which gives us the ability to sync as soon as we do a perfect dodge. An attack plus 5% and power charge. Power charge is a skill that puts on, that gets put on your Legion. It has a slight cooldown and uh, it boosts your damage and your Legion's damage. So here at the very start of this fight, I power charge and I use a spicy Cobra and switch to Gladius and then change up over to this guy and you kind of just destroy him. And Gladius is really good against enemies that are shielded. Uh, here we have the first instance of a shield generating enemy. I don't know their actual name, but they're, they're shield guys. They put up shields. Um, this one gets dealt with by Sword Legion, so it links with a Chimera, generates a shield, and you have to slash through the link with your Sword Legion in order to get rid of the shield. The goal here on the second wave is to kill that enemy or both the sword enemies before it gets linked with. So the one on the right side links with the guy in the middle first. So if you're fast enough, you can kill the guy on the right side and the guy in the middle before the guy on the left is able to uh, generate a shield. Or you can just go straight for the middle guy and kill him before either of the other two are able to uh, link with him. Or, as a third option, you can kill both the shield generators before they're able to link with uh, the middle guy, starting with the guy on the right and then going for the guy on the left. Um, on that long jump as well that just happened, uh, keep in mind we have to hold down on the left analog stick so that we get that mid-air dodge roll. And then here we have one of the first uh, skips in the run. So there's quite a bit of uh, skips slash sequence breaking here. Uh, we're supposed to, right now, be picking up drone parts for a drone named Tal, but we don't actually have to do that. Uh, if you send your Legion over to the side and do a full baton combo, it kind of just saves your position to be on the other side of the wall and warps you over there. And Tal just magically teleports over to you because you're supposed to have him by the time you're able to get over to this section. Um, on these switches, also, they get triggered by sending your legion at them or calling your legion back 
So on that first switch, you can send your Legion in front of you, call it back to trigger the switch, and then call it back again afterwards. Um, then we have a, a pre-fight before Cerberus. So the only two enemies that matter here are the bigger beasts. Um, all the little guys don't actually matter, they all die as soon as you kill the two bigger beasts. So you just want to target the big guys, um, and then the rest will die immediately after. But this fight can be a bit messy, um, just depending on how the beasts move, because they like to dodge a lot. And then, uh, when Cerberus here goes to Howl, you can power charge and do the Fishy Water. Oh, Fishy Water also gives crit plus 10%, which is awesome. And then here, uh, when Cerberus jumps down, as long as you're standing in the right spot, you can perfect dodge sync. And then just baton combo him and he'll jump in front of you so you get blindside damage. Uh, Itty found this strat, it's really good. And it kills him before he's able to run over to this other side. It doesn't actually really matter if you get the kill or not. Either way, you have to jump over to this other side and he runs over there. So you either kill him before that or... Um, you'll kill him as you jump over at the very end, so it's not much of a difference. And then two chain jumps gets you to this game. So then we do our second set of menus. So in order to unlock the, the Legion learning nodes, we need gene codes, which you get from killing things. Uh, bosses especially give you a lot of gene codes, like Cerberus. So now we have more gene codes to do more menuing. Um, and here we unlock, I think it's a defense 5% and round sword. Uh, I kill these first three enemies just to end this first wave first. And then open the menu. And I dropped an up input. Uh, but what we really want here is round sword. Round sword is really good. These are the two skills that we run on sword legion for the entirety of the run. Um, round sword basically puts up, uh, a circle of swords around your sword legion, which is just a constant DPS circle. Um, something to keep in mind here as well, which is something that I've been focusing on way more recently, and I think it's one of the things in the run that's going to determine how fast people go, and it's something that seems to get overlooked quite a bit, is uh, when you kill an enemy here, right, as you see, uh, when you get an enemy to 1 HP, or the hit that would get an enemy to 1 HP, brings up that finish up off prompt. You only get that prompt if you and your legion are targeting the same enemy. So if you switch targets as you, like right before you do the hit that would kill an enemy, you don't get that prompt. Um, which is really important. <laughs> so if you are keeping track of health on enemies, like at the, in that wave, uh, where there's those two guys with the shield, you can do like two hits on the first guy, switch targets, and the round sword will kill the other guy, so you don't get the finish off prompt, right? Um, and that applies for every single fight in the run, where if you switch targets right before the hit that would kill something, you don't get that momentary pause. And it adds up quite a bit throughout the run. Uh, here we power charge, use our last spicy cobra. And then here, again, I changed targets as I did the sync that killed the, the first guy of that set of two, so that I didn't get the finish off prompt on the first guy. Uh, we use gun on these aberrations, and then you can just do the gun sync as well. Once you kill the last one, you want to power charge and move back to this corner where this guy's going to spawn. And then I do three hits and switch targets, which I crit him, so he actually took too much damage. But if you do three hits and switch targets, when you go for the fourth hit, you'll hit the, the big guy and, again, not get the finish off prompt because you just switched targets and your legion is still targeting that guy or you're not targeting him anymore. Uh, but this was a really good split. So that's just about how those fights should go. Now we have uh, Arrow Legion. Hey, mobile... Mobile with the the sub. Okay, looks like you're in. So far, so good. Back when I was doing the run. Um, there's a, a faster jump you can do here, which I didn't do. If you send your legion off the top left corner, 
while Olive is talking, you can chain jump uh, down to the bottom, which I didn't start doing until after this run. Um, and then here we have three switches we need to trigger. Um, so you just send your Leech in at all three of them. And then we have to wait for these platforms to move. And there's red matter here, which again, whenever you're in a section that uh, is timed, or where you can't really do much, picking up red matter is a good idea just because it gives you more money. The next time that money really matters is at the start of file 5, um, the, the drink route that I use. So just having extra money in case uh, you're like unlucky with item drops or something, uh, it's a good thing. And then here's something of note. Um, you'll see my legion got stuck there. If you're further on the right side, your legion doesn't get stuck, which I just realized a few days ago. Um, but if you send your legion off the left side, you can change them to it and do the slash while you're in midair, which looks cool. I do it in my abilities PD as well. Um, and then here we have to wait for this platform to go up, so again, you can just pick up red matter. And that shield guy uh, can't actually get to you while you're on the platform, which is nice. And then this is another section of downtime right before Arrow Legion. So good place for donations before a boss fight. Uh, there's also a good amount of downtime after the fight as well. And then as this elevator goes down, you can jump off early. So once these blocks are in a good enough position, um, you can run off the side change up to your legion, and do the midair dodge roll again, and kind of just land straight on the blocks, which is nice. And then here, before you go far enough into the right uh, to trigger the fight, you want to power charge and pop a fishy, so that you don't have to do it at the start of this fight, um, because doing it at the start of this fight is slow, and it lets arrow legion do some dumb stuff that you don't want to have to deal with. And then here you can either do a uh, baton combo, and then hits afterwards, or you can do a full Gladius combo with Round Sword up. Either one gets the kill. Uh, but the main thing is we want to kill Arrow Legion before Arrow Legion's able to get away, which that chain bind at the start uh, allows us to do. I'm not sure who found that strat originally. I wasn't around when that strat was found, uh, but it's a very good way of dealing with that boss. Actually, let me see if I can find it in Discord. You recaptured the Arrow Legion. So that means one core can hold two legions. <laughs> we'll ask the commander about that later. We've got to focus on our hero. Um, anyways. This is another time section where we have to wait for all of Soy's lines to go out. So... Even though we have the ability to close the distance to get over to Akira, there's an invisible wall up that we can't bypass until we hit that switch. Um, so we have to wait for Olive's voice lines to run out, and I just pick up red matter during that section. And then you can change up across and change up to Akira. And again, more downtime. The, the end of each file kind of has... A good amount of time where there's not really much going on like you have a minute of uh, a half a minute or more of just time for donations or whatever at the end of each file while there's not really much going on which is nice and then the next file is where the run really starts to pick up uh, this is where it starts to get really good Again, uh, because I got the double promotion earlier, I don't get a promotion here, which let me gold this split by a little bit. I would have golded it by more, um, but the split itself wasn't too good. Alright, and then this is the start of file 4. Uh, I buy more spicy cobras again. So buy 3 there. And then we have to run to the command room to get our next mission. 
And now that we have fast travel from Lappy, which I didn't mention last file, we got Lappy fast travel now. Um, right after talking to Lappy for the first time, uh, you can fast travel to the garage and leave. Uh, this is also the first instance of red light skip. So we do this twice. Um, when we're at this plaza area, there is a red light, which we're not allowed to like cross the street. Uh, but there's a way of skipping it. It's like a pseudo wall. So it doesn't let you pass through it from this side, but it does from the other side. And if you have enough height, um, you're able to get over it. I tried to input my attack too early, um, so I got a slide there. But basically, you just want to run straight at the wall. Uh, turn slightly to the side. And then uh, do a charge sync with Arrow Legion. I think it was uh, Blue Piero who found red light skip originally i'm not sure if this is the exact setup that they used um but uh yeah it's it's very good it saves about six seconds each time and then here at this vending machine again we buy fishy waters because fishy waters are great and they're not offered at the headquarters uh we talked to the fanboy here as soon as you're done mashing you can just hold zl and move your analog stick in like a slight circle to chain bind him, which gets that chain bind off pretty quickly. Um, there's also the chance, so after uh, chain binding him, that like completes a red case. And there's a chance that you get the case completion um, while you're talking to him, which is nice because then you're able to chain jump to that easily scared girl. Um, but that didn't happen this time. Uh, then we have to talk to the easily lost man and bring him to Larger Burger. Um, it's very important to not chain jump here because then he gets lost. So just run in a straight line to get down here. We also have one of the best voice lines in the entire game coming up from Olive. It's very good. And then here you can chain jump over to the bridge here. Uh, as long as you get here before Olive finishes her voice line, uh, you're fine. Because you have to wait for this to load in anyways. Uh, but walking the beat is one of the best lines in the entire game. Uh, and then as I go down the staircase here, I slide when I hit the top of the, the second set. And that sets me up to do a chain jump um, and land on the ground. Instead of uh, doing a change up and being in the air, which is slightly slower. And now we have uh, one of the worst fights in the run. Uh, one of the least fun fights in the run, I guess. Because um, it's flying enemies, and flying enemies are not very fun to deal with, especially early on. Uh, but we also, we have access to Arrow Legion now. Uh, Arrow Legion, like Sword Legion when you hit L to slash, uh, Arrow Legion has arrows that you can shoot. So you, like, get Arrow Legion on you and shoot arrows to trigger switches. There's only a total of three fights in the entire run where Arrow Legion sees use in combat, and that's only if the fights go poorly. Um, this is also Analyzer Skip. Um, so if you dodge roll... Do the, the holding down the analog stick, the long jump. Um, you dodge, you change up to your legion, and then do another one of those dodges. Um, and we're able to skip using the analyzer here. I'm not sure who originally found that. I think it was Snap. I could be wrong on that, though. But I'm pretty sure it was Snap. And then you have to shoot at these two switches. Um, with that shield enemy there, when it gets close to the center of the screen, it kind of just messes with your targeting system. Which is a bit annoying. Um, and then you can change up down here. And you want to... Uh, I missed this because I was slow and I was off position. But you want to focus as soon as you like hit the ground there. Uh, to slow down time so that you're able to get that shot off before the platforms lock at the bottom. And then here I round sword, spicy, and power charge. And I don't want to move forward at the start because that tends to keep the the big flying enemy in the back longer and then you can either do gun sync or you can send your legion at it and change up to it and do gladius combos 
Um, either way works. Then you want to switch to Gladius here and use a Fishy Water um, as these next set spawn in. And you want to make sure that you're standing next to this enemy so you can kill it before it flies up into the sky and shields uh, the other flying enemy. Then you can slash um, this last guy. And you can, uh, when you slash an enemy, you can instantly go into a sink, which I've been doing. Um, on this set of enemies, I don't normally do that. The only reason I did it this run is they were oddly close to each other. And then I normally do uh, gladius combos on the flying enemies. Or uh, gun combos and then the gun sink if they're far away from me. But if they're like close to the ground you can just do grounded gladius combos and hit them or if they're like slightly above the ground you can send your legion at them and then change them to your legion and do gladius combos uh, but aerial gladius combos hit pretty hard so on, on that fight i use a, a spicy at the start and the fishy water for the last wave which is nice i used to double spicy there um but I like using the fishy water on the flying enemies. It makes that a lot safer. Just because they aren't alive for as long. So they can't mess things up as much. This is another good bit of downtime. Again for donations. Uh, from the end of that fight. And then this movement section. We kind of have to just wait for Olive to stop talking. Before we can start running or chain jumping. Or anything that we want to do. Um... And then Olive calls us right back. <laughs> I've never seen anyone open a gate and go through like that. Let alone come back on their own. But chain jumping is uh, the best form of movement that we have here. So we do a lot of just spamming chain jumps to try and move as fast as we can. And then again, ending an investigation, just mash through. It doesn't matter what the, the choices you pick are. Which is nice. Uh, now we get into the Ark Mall, which this area is interesting. Um, yeah, it's interesting. There's a good amount of fights here. Some rough movement because of the tentacles that show up. Uh, but here you can just spam chain jump to get over. Uh, and the way that I know if I was good on movement or not is if Olive gets to say recognize there. If she says recognize, that means you're slow. If she doesn't, then you're not. Um, here at the start, I run to the left and then I send my legion over uh, as soon as the camera like starts acting normal. And then on each of these like goop sections, you can change them twice. So do one, and then uh, on that one, I move my legion forward manually instead of sending it because if I send my legion, it goes for the tentacle. Then I switch to arrow legion here because arrow legion moves faster than sword legion does. Um, and then I switch back to sword legion to cut through this tentacle here. Which, this is a scripted section. And immediately after, I switch back to Arrow Legion. Because, again, Arrow Legion moves faster when you're moving it than Sword Legion does. And the majority of the time in this section, I have my Legion dismissed. So whenever I'm not actively trying to chain jump, I dismiss my Legion. Because it tends to get ca caught on a lot of things. Um, and then I can just call my Legion again and move it. I got caught here, which is pretty bad. Um... Because I thought I could chain jump across, but I got my Legion stuck on the wall. Um, I switched to Sword Legion in this run. More recently, I've just been using Arrow Legion um, through this section as well. Because there's not really a reason to try and send your Legion. So, like, Sword Legion goes farther faster um, when you send your Legion. Arrow Legion is faster when you're manually moving it. And there's not really a reason to send Legion. Uh, before that fight, I power charge Fishy. Just like Arrow Legion. Uh, this is the Arm Legion fight. This fight goes really quickly. Itty found the strat. It's really good. Um, so I just combo at the very start to push him uh, into the second phase. And then we chain bind him, power charge, and switch to Gladius. And you're able to kill in one Gladius combo with the sync. And as I do the, the sync, I mash A to just get the bind out immediately. Uh, but that fight goes very, very quickly, as long as you don't get caught in the goop. If you get caught in the goop that's on the ground, it stops you from being able to combo, which is slow. Uh, 
And then we have to talk to Jin. Um, and just getting close enough to him triggers that cutscene. We also have access to Arm Legion now, which gives us a faster form of movement. So, um, hitting L with Arm Legion puts Arm Legion on your back. And evading, or hitting B, or rolling, or whatever you want to call it, dodging, um, it lets you dash forward with Arm Legion. And the Arm Legion dashes are incredibly fast. It's, I think it's the fastest form of movement in the game. It's faster than Beast Legion, but as you can see from the, the gauge indicator, it drains charge quite a bit. Also, as I hit this trigger for this fight, I dismiss Legion to make sure that I have enough, uh, to make sure my Legion charges again. And then chain binding this guy with Sword Legion and doing uh, Power Charge, Spicy, and then Round Sword. Uh, it lets you kill this Beast Legion really quickly without any issues. Uh, he can't dodge or do anything weird to make that fight go slower. So that's, uh, it's slower than just like mashing Gladius combo and getting a perfect fight, but it's way more consistent. And then you can just use Arm Legion to dash into this fight. It doesn't matter if you run out of charge because in this cutscene here that we can't skip, um, you'll get full charge back. And then I Spicy Cobra at the start of Tentacles. And it takes two punches to kill all of the bigger tentacles, one punch to kill the smaller ones. And there's a very, um, a very particular sequence that we kill here. I'm not sure who found this sequence first. Um, I'll see if I can find it. Um... I think it, it was either, uh, I think it's Mitchell who found this, um, but we, we kill those tentacles in a very specific way. The three that we keep alive are very important. They eat all of the other chimeras, and then when it gets towards the end of it, as long as the chimera is being eaten, you can kill the tentacle, and uh, the chimera it's eating will die. And then we have another timed section where we have to wait for Jenna Anderson to stop talking. Uh, Jenna is the main antagonist at this point in the game. Uh, if it wasn't obvious for how she was menacingly uh, teleporting away into a gate earlier. And then here, on this one day it'll cost you everything line, I power charge Fishy Water for Homunculus Alpha. At the very start of this fight, I send my Legion at him and uh, Round Sword and basically just spam Baton Combos. Uh, after that first baton combo, I roll over to the left side to target the hands, and then I can power charge again. And then you can either do baton combos more, or you can switch to gun and do gun combos and gun sync after those first two baton combos, depending on what Hamunk Alpha does. But the fight can't end until Alicia finishes her voice line. I stay on gun just because you get three shots here, and then as soon as Alicia finishes that, uh, once Akira's stable voice line, I shoot and it kills. And then we have a minute of downtime at the end of this file, uh, while we wait for the file to finish. Which, uh, switching to Spicy Cobra as Alicia is talking is a good idea, so that you have Spicy out for the next fight in the subway. Because you end the previous fight on Fishy Water. But yeah, this is another moment of downtime. Good time for donations, like the end of every file. And then we have another file with a somewhat slow start. The next three files all have a pretty slow start. Um, but this, we have an auto-scroller section in the ARI, the Aegis Research Institute, I believe, um, where we, Akira got stabbed by Jenna in the last cutscene that we skipped, so he's, like, dead-ish, uh, but they're, they're bringing him back, 
uh, we buy drinks here. So here I do a sell menu first. Um, doing a left input, Itty told me this. Uh, doing a left input uh, brings you to salvage items, which it saves on inputs. Um, and then I need to have... What is it? Um... I don't remember how much money it is. Uh, it, I want to have over 30,000 gold uh, at the end of that sell menu. What is it? It's 4,800. 5,700. 5, uh, you need 29,700 gold at the end of that sell menu in order to buy three sweet peach soups, three spicy cobras, and upgrade your baton twice. Um... You need that much money specifically. If I have any lower than that, then I just cut out a sweet peach soup. Um, but that's why we pick up items throughout the run and why we're picking up the red matter is to specifically have that much money to do that menu. But buying that many items here, because we don't hit that vending machine at the start of file six. We've hit it at the start of every file so far outside of file one where we can't hit it. Um, but we don't hit it at the start of file 6, so we want to have enough drinks to carry us through this file and the next file. Which we use two spices in this file, and then uh, the rest of the items all get used in the next file. Yeah, we use uh, a, a spicy three sweet peaches. Um, we do restock on fishy waters in the next file, but not on spicy cobras and sweet peach soups. And again, this is an auto-scroller. We just have to wait for Brenda. Uh, make sure that you're close to the receptionist, just so that this dialogue triggers. If you go too far away, um, they don't end up talking to each other. So just make sure you're like standing near Brenda by the receptionist desk. Again, great time for donations. <laughs> this is also uh, probably one of the harder files in the entire run. One of the hardest files. Um, it has one of the hardest fights in the run and one of the hardest skips in movement. Which I will point out, it's towards the end of the file, so having this at the very start is a little bit nice in terms of just calming nerves and getting you prepared for the rest of the file, which is pretty cool. Uh, ideally, we would be able to skip this. Hopefully someday we find a skip for this, but at this point, there's nothing. All right, and then as I mash through uh, Brenda's last few lines of text there, I turn the camera as well because it saves your camera positioning there. So I turn my camera so that I'm able to uh, dash immediately using Arm Legion here. And then I put myself in charge here, or you can just dismiss your Legion uh, right before the call there. And then three arm dashes from that call takes you to the pilot to leave. Then here, uh, mashing through the call, and with every phone call in the game as well, uh, if you dodge after the call is over, you cancel it away from the call. So by mashing A and B there, I dodge right after, cancel it away, and I can go straight into Arm Legion. Otherwise, you get like a second, half second delay where your character like hangs the phone up and just stands there for a little bit. Uh, here we get a gas mask, 
make sure you don't put it on. It like fades out, puts the gas mask on your character, it's slow at least this time. Uh, here I do two arm leech and dashes. I get out and do a dodge roll with the analects to kill down the, the long jump. And then three arm dashes gets me to this character. Uh, I think it was Itty who found the pushing. I'm not sure. Itty's the one who told me about it, but if you're up against the wall, uh, technically you can do it anywhere, but it's way easier to do it up against the wall. But you can push your character forward with the Arm Legion. Uh, so on these sections where you're uh, helping a person escape, doing that is good. Uh, here, doing an Arrow Legion shot through the door. I think it was Mitchell who found that. Uh, doing that destroys what's inside the train so you're able to just get in for free and then i'm not sure who found this but i know it was in horn's notes i'm not sure who found it originally uh but arm legion grabs uh when when you send him at an enemy that's far away he like grabs it and pulls it to you so i lock onto an enemy and then just send arm legion at it and he grabs the enemy pulls it to you and it slightly pushes you forward and I dismiss Arm Legion when I get low on charge, so that I can just continually do this uh, up through the end. So it's like the push against the wall that I did earlier, but different. It, it accomplishes the same thing. Uh, here we get another call from Alicia, and then dodge to cancel the light from the call and go straight into Arm Legion. You can do six dashes here before uh, the Legion gets dismissed. Uh, make sure you don't hit the trash cans as you're dashing there, because people get mad at you. Uh, and then here, Power Charge, Spicy Cobra. Also, I haven't said this before, but always when you're doing a fight, when you're going to use an ability and do a drink, always use your Legion's ability first. Because when you drink, you can't act. Um, but when you have your... So, so you can't act when you're drinking. If you Power Charge first then you can drink immediately after. If you drink, you can't power charge because you can't act, right? And this is the last person we have to rescue. And again, we did the same thing with Arm Legion that we did on the last uh, rescue, where we just get this guy behind us and keep pulling him, and it pushes us forward. Little bit by bit. We also get a damaged vest. Damaged vest? Dented vest? In the last fight, it sells for 5,000 gold. Um, so I do another sell menu here to be able to afford fishy waters. If I pick up enough items in the subway, or if I have enough money from the first sell menu, um, then I can also buy cream puff sodas here. So I sell, again, do the left input, because it saves you down inputs. Um, and then buy fishies, and if I have uh, another 2,700 gold, so what is it in total? Uh... Uh, 3,600. Uh, 6,300? Yeah, 6,300 6, gold. Um, you can buy three sweet- or three fishy waters, three cream puff sodas. If you have any less than that, just don't buy cream puffs there, and you can buy them in the next vending machine. Uh, when you use Arm Legion to pull these doors open, you can immediately switch to another Legion as soon as Arm Legion has started opening the door, and the door will open on its own. So then I switch to Sword Legion and Power Charge. Again, Switching targets is really good because it stops you from getting that finish off prompt. So as I'm like about to kill an enemy, I didn't pull it off there, but on the first enemy I did. Um, you want to switch targets right before an enemy would die so that you don't get the finish off. This is another good moment of downtime after this fight. Uh, so a good moment to get a donation in R2. Where we just have to walk up this escalator. Uh, and Alicia talks to us, and we have to wait for her voice lines, and then she tells us that she was in love with our dad, and it's very sad because he's gone now, because he disappeared at the end of file two, which I don't, I don't think I ever said, but yeah, Max is gone now. But again, another good moment of downtime. And switching to Arm Legion here is good, uh, again, because we're able to do these dashes. Again, dodging out of the conversation uh, cancels any delay, which is nice. And you dodge in whatever direction you're holding, 
So just make sure you're holding like forward right coming out of that or whatever direction for any point in the run. Uh, and I purposefully dismiss Legion at certain points here to make sure that I have enough charge to get over to here. I'll be fishy water here. This cap, I, this strat I picked up from Cap, um, which I messed up because I did the punches way too early. But doing those punches uh, stuns Deimos. I don't know how he... Uh, this fight was a mess. Uh, this fight should not go this way. <laughs> uh, but doing the punches at the start stuns Deimos, and then I do Gladius combo. Um, but this fight was really weird. It still worked out really well, uh, but that's not how that fight was supposed to go. Because I missed the punches at the start, um, the next hits I did ended up stunning Deimos because it breaks him. Uh, so he was stunned in the chain bind. And now that we've upgraded our baton more, uh, when you're next to a stunned enemy and you try to hit them, you do a somersault instead. Which is uh, generally bad. It's generally worse than being able to do combos, which kind of sucks, but we need the upgrades to increase our damage. This strat was found by Mitchell. It's one of the hardest fights in the entire run. Uh, but we power charge Fishy Water. We need to keep a very specific distance from Beast Legion so that he doesn't do uh, the claw attack where he comes towards us. I turn the camera here to try and uh, get a better idea of where Beast Legion is going. And then you have to chain bind him again as he tries to run. I switch to Gladius here at the end just because I feel it's safer. Um, but you can do the ending with baton combo as well. But it's one of the harder strats to pull off. Um, the enemies around Beast Legion can make it way harder than it otherwise would be. Uh, especially if you chain bind one of them. Because when you chain bind something, you get a delay before you can chain bind again. And if you chain bind Beast and one of the smaller guys, and the smaller guy doesn't get broken from the chain bind, you just can't chain bind again. Which can make that fight a big mess. Uh, but doing those chain binds, doing the second chain bind when Beast tries to run lets him not get over to the other platform, so you don't have to switch to Aero Legion and shoot him. That's one of the only fights in the run that we would use Aero Legion. So I said three fights earlier, that's one of the three. Uh, again, it's only if the fights go badly that we would use Aero Legion in combat. Um, yeah, so here we, we skip two fights. I'm not sure who found these. I believe it was Snap, I could be wrong on that. Um, but by moving the beast in a certain way, we're able to skip the triggers for the fights. So there was supposed to be a fight there, but we skipped that. There's supposed to be a fight here, but doing arm legion dashes, we kind of just fly over the trigger for the fight itself, which is good. Uh, we can use beast legion. We have to use beast legion or arm legion to get across these platforms. They disappear after a certain amount of time once you stand on them. And then I chain jump over to Hal here. Uh, because when you get close enough to him, he calls you again, like he did before those platforms. Uh, chain jumping over to him gets you to him to talk to him before he's able to call you, which is nice. Here we have to send the Beast Legion over to, uh, dig up what's in the floor here. And then as soon as I get that message of picking up the drone part, I do a dodge roll into this wall. Then we have to give Legion the scent in order to open this wall, and then I immediately dismiss him. Uh, switch to Arm Legion. This is the hardest skip in the entire run. Mitchell found this. It's crazy. Um, there's a lot going into how this works. So basically, anytime that you get far enough away from Hal, he calls you because the game doesn't want you to get far enough away from him. So we throw ourselves off the side of the map in order to trigger Hal's call. Then we do a very specific set of dashes to get over to this platform, send our Legion. Hal calls us again. Then we go through another set of dashes to get over to this platform. This skips a fight, it skips a puzzle, it skips talking to Hal, it saves like 40 seconds to a minute. It's really hard to pull off, um, but it's good. If you're slightly slow at the very beginning because Hal calls you on a timer, if you're slightly slow, Hal calls you while you're on the platforms that disappear underneath you, so then you just fall to your death. So you have to be as fast as you can. I menu here, um, we unlock four abilities for Beast, or four nodes for Beast, which are Perfect Dodge, Sync, Howl, uh, Attack 5%, and Power Charge. Um, and then we switch to Sword Legion, and we unlock uh, a bunch of stuff. So we get a Hit Rush, which we never use. We get two ability slots, and we get an Attack 5. Um, since we're... Uh, we also get, uh, what, Sword Spin? 
Yeah, Sword Spin, which we also never use. And then we get Beast Legion, uh, Hal, and Power Charge. This is also a good point to talk about. Um, throughout the run, or throughout the game, there's these items that drop called Ability Codes, which, now that we've unlocked Ability Slots, were more, more Ability Slots, because you start off with one, you unlock three more throughout the game. Um, on each of your legions, you can equip abilities. The categories are split between abilities and no abilities. This is no abilities, so I wouldn't be equipping any abilities at all. Um, I think it's a better category. It's more consistent. Ability drops are RNG dependent, um, so you don't have to deal with like resetting to try and get good drops from enemies. Uh, here at the very start of this Proto Legions fight, I chain bind both the enemies, which stops them from doing anything at all for the entirety of the fight. It's really good. It makes the fight free. Um, and then, of course, Power Charge, Fishy Water, Round Sword, and Baton Combos with Sinks to take care of everything. It's a very fast fight. Proto Legions can be extremely annoying, uh, so that takes care of them in the most consistent way possible. And then again, more downtime at the end of the file, and at the start of the next, for more donations. Which is always a good time. Uh, there's a bunch of optional reading here that we don't do because we're going past. Uh, but there's a lot of optional story bits that we get access to there. Hey, is uh, now a good time? Uh, come find me on the roof. And then immediately at the start of this file, uh, like I said, we don't hit the vending machine in this file like we've done in every other file. Uh, we just immediately warp up to the heliport. And so in the last file, I used a spicy cobra on two fights in the subway, and that's it. Then I used uh, the three fishy waters, one on Deimos, one on Beast Legion, and one on the Proto Legion. So I'm out of fishy waters, but I still have a spicy cobra and three sweet peach soups, which gets used here. And then immediately as we leave here, um, we're going back to the plaza. So we hit up another vending machine, which gives us more fishy water, so we completely restock on that. So there's no reason to hit the vending machine at the start of this file, because we have everything that we need to get us through this file. Um, this also gives us the second appearance of Red Light Skip. So, again, I'm pretty sure this red light skip goes way better than my first one did as well, so it's a better example. But run up to the, the wall, turn around slightly, do the charge sync with arrow, and you want to hold backwards as you do it, and it gives you the height to get over the red light. And then, now that we have Beast Legion as well, uh, which I didn't mention before, Beast Legion's super fast. Uh, I believe arm, D arm Legion dashes are slightly faster, but Beast Legion uses a way less charge. So in these longer stretches, it's way more uh, practical to use Beast Legion and just run on him. Uh, here we buy the three fishies that I was talking about before. And then we also uh, slash through this door with sword. I switch back to Beast immediately and then uh, go down this ladder to meet Hal. So Hal is uh, the drone that we've skipped both times. <laughs> Haven't fixed him, but he miraculously repairs himself and follows us. And we're best friends with him now. So we're putting our life and our job on the line to go help him. We also get a cool new outfit, because we don't want people to know that we're a cop anymore uh, in this file. Uh, I switched to Arrow Legion here, because again, Arrow Legion moves faster. Uh, we have to chain bind this first guy, then we can go Beast and just run past everything else. As long as we're not unlucky, nothing sees us. If something does see us, that just means that we have to chain bind it at the end. And then when we get spotted by the last guy, pick the, the bottom dialogue option. Uh, let's break our way through. And you don't really have to be stealthy here like the game wants you to. You just have to chain bind this last guy and it's fine. If another person does spot you, um, you just have to chain bind that person before you're able to use the elevator most likely if that person is close enough to you. And then here we have another stealth section. Stealth in air quotes. Stealth. 
Um, try not to get caught, for sure. And then just break your way through, get back on the beast, and run it. Uh, let me do some cool arm legion movement here, which I'm not sure who found this. I believe it was either Snap or Cap. I think it was Snap. Um, but two arm legion dashes, and send your legion, jump to it, and then do another dash to get over to this platform. And then we can do more arm legion dashes to get across this platform, up to this ladder. And I switch to Beast here to go on after the ladder. Uh, there's three people you have to talk to in this investigation. You want to talk to the walking man first, because like his name implies, he's walking. Um, so if you don't talk to him, he just keeps walking. He walks all the way up the stairs. You don't want to have to chase him down. So hitting him first is the best course of action. Then we also have to talk to the older sister and the older brother. I normally hit the older sister first, then the older brother. Um, it just makes sense. It puts the camera in a better position as well. Uh, but all three of the people that we have to talk to are right in the same area. This investigation goes by pretty quickly. There's, we also have to eavesdrop on a few guards, but this is basically the end of the investigation. And then we just mash through these again, like normal. The answers we give don't matter at all. And then get back on Arm Legion, or on Beast Legion. Ooh. And you have to be a bit careful um, when you're running on Beast Legion through these areas. Like in uh, File 3, when you hit stuff near people, like trash cans or whatever, uh, people get mad at you. If you run into something on Beast Legion, like a trash can or a box, and knock it all over the place, people get mad at you and will stop you. And that loses a few seconds. Uh, and then here we send our Beast Legion over to East Drop on a few guards. To figure out how to get in to uh, the hideout. The base for the Hermits. Uh, as I go down this elevator, or er, this ladder, I switch to Arm Legion, and then do three Arm Legion dashes to get over to the vent. Uh, and then, ideally, which I didn't do here because I forgot, um, as soon as Arm Legion grabs the vent, like, with opening doors and everything like that, uh, you can switch Legion. So switch to Beast Legion, because you have to use Beast Legion to dig here, and then, uh, just run and slide, uh, like you would do for any area where you have to crouch. Which I tried to run a little bit early, and because the ground that uh, Beast Legion was digging came up from out from under me, I didn't get the slide originally. This is another good point of downtime in the run, where we kind of just have to wait for Kyle to do a big monologue. Um, but yeah, it's a good time for donations. And it's a, a nice break for water as well. Stay hydrated. So that big guy is Kyle. He's the leader of the Hermits. Uh, the leader of this whole operation, as he'll say. And we get to fight him. And he's really cool, and I wish we got to fight him more than we actually do. But this is the only time we get to fight him, and it's kind of like a unresolved fake fight that never actually comes to a real resolution because we never get to fight him again. So there's two fights here back to back. There's a fight with all of the other hermits, and then there's a fight with Kyle. Uh, so we use two fishy waters here. So at the very start, I'm still on Beast Legion from digging up the floor. So I power charge with Beast Legion and fishy water, then switch to Sword Legion and get Round Sword up. And then we kind of just want a baton sink uh, through all of these guys. Uh, be careful about the Molotov throwing guys as well. 
And another thing, now that we have Beast Legion, who also has Power Charge on it, um, you can Power Charge with Beast Legion and then switch back to Sword Legion, which is your main DPS. And you'll still have the Power Charge up, and Sword Legion's Power Charge won't be on cooldown. This was a really bad pre-Kyle fight. I should be finishing this fight. Uh, I think I lose about 10 or 15 seconds here. Yeah. Uh, but this was not a good fight. Then here, as Kyle does this line, I throw another Fishy Water, so that I have Fishy Water up for Kyle. I pull out Beast Legion, and as Kyle says this, you felt it too, right? Line, I Power Charge, and then immediately Howl. And Howling cuts out the animation for the start of this fight. And since Kyle gets stunned, you can do Somersault Sync, which drags him back down to the ground. Then Power Charge with Beast Legion and Gladius combo his back. Um, and he just dies. The Somersault Sync that drags him down to the ground easily sets up for the Chain Bind, as long as Kyle doesn't immediately jump back from it and get himself against a wall, which can happen, but it's pretty unlike. It's pretty unlikely, and you have to get unlucky for it to happen. Um, but yeah, bad pre-Kyle fight, but a good Kyle fight. Um, again, more downtime. This is an auto-scroller section where we have to wait for Kyle to walk through the base and uh, sit down in his chair. I open that chest. It has a rare material code in it. There's literally no reason to open it because uh, we get enough rare material codes for our run. Uh, I just open it because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> And it keeps me from being bored, I guess. Here it is, our lovely home. Don't be shy. And then you just have to wait for Kyle to sit down so you can talk to him. He tells us about Douglas. So Douglas is a guy who's uh, been giving them drugs that allow them to see and fight the Chimeras. Um, and we have to go find him. Because he went into a gate somewhere, and he's just stuck there now. So we gotta go find him and bring him back. Uh, so we have to pick up Douglas's case. The game wants you to give the case to the Beast Legion to track him down, but you don't actually have to. The only time that we have to give our Legion Ascent is in File 5, um, where we have to give it the drone part so that it opens up the wall for us. Uh, but we never have to do that again. And then we just run back down uh, that same ladder that we went through the first time, but we, instead of going through the vents, we go off into a new area this time. Uh, here we switch to Aero Legion to shoot down this platform, which lets us get up. And go back on Beast, because Beast is fast. Uh, you can open with Arm Legion and then immediately uh, switch back to Beast to get back on it. Run up these stairs, and then here I uh, make sure I'm on Gladius, which I should be on after Kyle. Power Charge, Spicy, and then uh, send my Legion at it and do Gladius hits. Uh, and then I dismiss here and get back on Beast Legion, because when you reveal that gate, um, you want to mash A so that you can get into it before Hal starts his lines. If you're too slow on it, you have to wait for Hal to finish all of his voice lines. Uh, but dismissing the Legion, because the gate gets triggered as soon as your Legion gets close enough to it, dismissing the Legion gives you a consistent window where you're able to get into that gate at the right time. And because you control when your Legion actually triggers the gate. Uh, this is one of the harder movement sections. So this is movement I picked up from Cap. Uh, but also changed a bit myself. This jump is one of the harder ones. Um, so you can just jump with Arm Legion. Uh, if you dash and then send Arm Legion out and jump to Arm Legion, you can go straight back into Arm Legion. Uh, and we do that a lot here. And that's one of the harder movement sections. It's actually pretty difficult. And then here I want to send my Legion at this guy. Ideally, I would be able to use Gladius hits. Um, but since that flying enemy was up in the air, I couldn't do that. 
Uh, then I want to send my Legion over onto the elevator and get onto it. I was slightly slow. There's literally no reason to not go for that elevator cycle, though. Uh, because you either make it or you don't. And if you don't, you don't lose any time from uh, going for it and missing it. And, uh, rather than just not going for it at all. Um, but making that first elevator cycle makes this cycle a little bit better, and it saves you a bit of time. Because uh, you want to get onto that platform before the block goes away. Uh, here, I take a slightly safer approach to this jump than Cap did, uh, but this jump is kind of hard as well. And then we can send our Legion under this block before it closes, and do the same thing over here. And then we have to switch to Arrow Legion to uh, shoot these three things. I use Focus here because that last block on the outside goes super fast. Uh, here I dismiss Arm Legion before I switch to Sword, because if you don't dismiss it, you get a delay before um, Sword Legion, you can like actually slash. And then here, as this platform rises up, we use a Sweet Peach. And then Arm Legion to get into the fight, uh, dismiss, call out Sword and Power Charge, and then uh, Round Sword. And just baton combo with Sinks to get through them all. This is one of the big fights where switching targets really matters, um, so that you don't get the finish off prompts as often. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good fight. It's fast. At the end of the fight you want to uh, throw Fishy Water. Before Cerberus, I didn't, or before Tartarus, I didn't get it out in time. Uh, and then at the start of this, you would power charge and uh, ground sword. And ideally, you just want to get behind him and do baton sinks. What he does is random, uh, but you can approach the fight in the same way every single time. Just get behind him, do baton sinks, and then just spam baton combos with sinks, and he falls pretty quickly. Then you want to run over to the Douglas. Um, Getting close to him and having the camera on him cuts out Hal's voice line. If you're slightly far away or don't have the camera on him, then Hal has to talk, which is not good. But that's one of the harder movement sections in the run. It's pretty cool. The run, as I said at the start, the run is a bit of everything. Um, it has a lot of platforming, a lot of cool fights. It's a very interesting run. Uh, then we get to the point where Kyle kind of betrays us. And... He takes their drugs, he gives them to the Hermits, and uh, they redshift and turn into Aberrations. Uh, here, I Power Charge, spice, uh, Sweet Peach, and Round Sword, and I want to do Baton Sinks on the back of this enemy. I'm not sure if I talked about blindside damage at all, uh, but doing attacks on a weak point, which is normally the back of an enemy, or like an enemy's head, or whatever an enemy's weak point is. Um, that gives you extra damage, as you can see from the yellow numbers. Uh, crits also give you extra damage, which show up as yellow numbers as well. Uh, but crits do stack with blindside or weak point damage. Um, but ideally, whenever you're attacking stuff, you want to be behind it to get that blindside damage. I'm pretty sure I talked about that on Cerberus, because uh, that's part of the Cerberus strat. Um, and the... Uh, the... The Sweet Peach that we used in the previous fight carries over for here as well. And here you just want to like send Beast Legion at these guys as long as they're within range and uh, Gun takes care of them. Here we have to wait this section out. I've spent like an hour trying to figure out if there's a way to get through here, but I couldn't find something. Um, there's an invisible wall. On the, like, the top left corner, where those last rocks are, there's an invisible wall there that's present even when the rocks aren't up. So even if you try to run, or, like, um, if you go into Arrow Legion and focus, you can Arrow Legion dodge all the way through there, because it slows down time. Um, but there's still an invisible wall there that you just can't get past. At least I couldn't find a way to get past it, so we just have to wait. Um, here, Sword Legion, Power Charge. Sweet Peach, Round Sword, and Gladius combo against this Great Sword Chimera. It's basically the same enemy that we fought back in File 3, uh, but we're a lot stronger now, so it goes a lot faster. It does have more health than it did back then, but again, we're way stronger now than we were back then. Uh, 
And then here we hit up this vending machine by another three fishy waters that restocks us for this vial and the next vial. And there's one guy in the elevator that you have to kill. But basically, this entire area is falling apart now. Everybody's red shifting, they're turning into monsters. Uh, everything's kind of falling apart. And sadly, uh, Douglas takes his own life because he, he blames himself for what's been happening here. Um, so we have to analyze the security footage, see what happened to Douglas, and we see that he met up with Jenna, and then took his own life. And we also see that Jenna has his drugs. She has the Blue Evolve, which the Hermits were using to fight the Chimeras and all of that stuff. And now that we uh, analyze that, we can leave. There's people from Neuron here who are looking for you. And they're mad because you weren't supposed to come here. You kind of defected. And it's an act of insubordination, so you're in trouble. Uh, here, also, this is another time section where you have to wait for voice lines to run out. Good downtime for donations. I switched to Fishy Water and to Sword Legion. So that I can pop that right before the fight starts. Just like um, in File 4, before the Homunculus Alpha fight. We do the same thing here. Right before the fight starts, pop the Fishy Water Power Charge. So then you don't have to do it at the start of the fight. So then at the end of this voice line, power charge, fishy water. And I take this fight in a very specific way. So I, at the very beginning, I do a full combo with the sinks on homunculus beta's leg. And then immediately after, I chain bind to the first leg. I've been switching to arrow legion now. I didn't do it in this run. Um, but now I'm doing it just because arrow legion moves faster. But ideally, I chain bind every single one of homunculus beta's legs. There's the chance that the third leg, when you chain bind it, chain binds the last two. I don't know what causes it, but it just randomly happens. And then I do three hits. Um, I power charge again. I do three hits. I dodge roll and do round sword. Doing the dodge roll stores your position in the combo, which lets you get that last combo out faster, which is nice. And you get the round sword up to do the, the extra DPS. Um, and again, more downtime, end of the file, uh, slow start to the next file, more downtime, good time for donations, all that stuff. This is one of the slower starts to the file. Um, it's just a lot of voice lines that we can't skip, we have to mash through it, but basically our character gets thrown in jail because, uh, she just went off the grid. <laughs> investigated stuff she wasn't supposed to. Uh, Yosef's being a little suspicious. Getting mad at us for investigating this stuff. Weird stuff that's going on. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Akira's back. He saves us at the end of the previous fight, which we skipped that cutscene. But he's back. He's got new clothes that are totally not evil at all. He's not evil. He's good. Uh, he also has a legion again. Because everybody lost their legions at the end of file 2. When all the legions broke out and we had to fight them. But Akira's got one now. And we're kind of just sad and in jail. And Olive and Hal both try and call us, but we ignore them because it's faster. But yeah, there's a lot of downtime here for donations. It's like two minutes of just straight mashing before anything meaningful happens. Or we do more menuing. Now we actually get to play. It's good. Uh, so we hit up the vending machine again, now that we're out of all of the, the drinks that we used. Um, all of the spices and sweet peaches. So we buy three spicy cobras, three sweet peach soups. 
and we warp up to the heliport to leave. And this is the last time that we menu. Uh, this is one of the most important menus that we do. So we claim an order, which there are orders or achievements that you get for like completing certain tasks throughout the game. Uh, I mashed too much and claimed startup, which we don't need at all. Uh, but you're supposed to claim complicit. It gives us a premium material code, which we use for this menu here. Um, so we unlock the left side. We have to unlock enough nodes to get us to... Uh, I don't remember what rank it is. I think it's uh, C5. Yeah, we have to get to rank C5+. Plus. Um, and then we're able to unlock this bottom section with the premium material code we just claimed, which gives us uh, two attack plus 10%. So an extra 20% damage. Very, very, very useful. Uh, that's only on Sword Legion, but Sword Legion's our main DPS. So that gives us more damage for the rest of the whole run, which is awesome. And it's the last menu, or Legion learning menu that we do. We still have vending machines, and we do two more baton upgrades later. Um, but that's the last time we Legion learn. Okay, you made it. Get on Beast Legion here. We run all the way up to the top to trigger a voice line from Olive. And then I do uh, Arm Legion here and just punch things to kill them. These little aberrations can drop items. Uh, they can't drop ability codes, but they can drop items. And I just stock up on items here so that I have items to sell for money later on in the run. Uh, when we get to file 10, I do a sell menu there to make sure I have enough money for the rest of the run and to do the baton upgrades I need to do. And getting a few more items here just makes it 100% safe that I'm always going to have enough items for later. Uh, there's another homunculus. Even though we just killed one, there's more. It never stops. There's so many. But this is Homunculus Gamma. And he's a big boy. He's got lasers, he throws cars, he runs around, he's crazy. Uh, in this section as well, I switch over to Spicy Cobra and to Gun, uh, so that I have those up for the next fight. Then we have to run down and talk to Akira. Um, and then after talking to Akira, you want to switch to Sword Legion and uh, do a dodge roll there. It skips a trigger that would make you walk across that bridge so you're able to just run the whole way. Then I switch to Beast Legion and I use Beast Legion to run here and to power charge as well so that we don't have Sword Legion's power charge on cooldown. So I do Beast Legion, power charge, Spicy Cobra, switch back to Sword Legion, and uh, yeah, shoot stuff. These enemies can stun you. Um, Whenever you're stunned, you can just chain jump to your legion and it cancels stun, which is nice. And then I power charge and round sword here. Uh, I would like to send my legion at that bigger one so that I get the round sword damage all off on it. But sometimes the, the angle that you're standing at makes that a bit more difficult than it otherwise would be. Again, you want to make sure that you're trying to switch targets so that you don't get the finish off prompts like I've been mentioning throughout the run. And here we have one of the more uh, interesting skips in the run as well. Uh, we use Arrow Legion here to shoot that little bulb thingy at the top, which stops some poison and get poisonous gas. Um, I kill these two aberrations. It's not necessary, but it makes this more consistent. Uh, so we run up the stairs. We have to grab a barrel for Arm Legion, which is very important. Uh, but here, there's this drawbridge that's up, which we're supposed to go to the other side to hit the controls for it. I take this skip really slowly, just to make sure that I get it right. Um, but you want to jump to your legion as you get it right over the lip there. So like as it's in the center, it's right at the top. Um, I normally send my legion over once to get the camera in the right position, and then I s call it back and send it over again, and then I go for it. Um, but that was a really slow one because I was pushing myself with my legion and I was off on position. But I would rather take that skip slowly than mess it up. Um, and have to go back and grab another barrel. 
And another key point about that skip is we do the, the same dodge roll that I've been talking about the whole time, where you have to hold down on the analog stick to make sure you get the long jump. Um, and then here, at the very start of this pre kalino fight, I howl with Beast Legion to make it so Kalino can't attack. Uh, because once Kalino takes enough damage, she pushes you to the next phase of the fight. But she won't do that if she's in the middle of an attack, so doing the howl at the start just makes it so she's never going to attack. Um, and immediately after you do enough damage, she pushes you to the next phase. I also switch back to Beast Legion, and I switch to Gun here. So I use Beast Legion, Power Charge, Fishy Water, and then uh, switch to Sword Legion. And I pull up Round Sword. And ideally, I kill uh, two of these flying guys just to get them out of the way. Um, and then I want to send my Legion at Kalino after I power charge and do a Gladius combo. And then after that, um, gun combo with gun sync to kill if I don't kill with the Gladius combo. Kalino can be really mean with how she moves. She can kind of fly off the map, which makes that Gladius combo less viable. You have to gun combo her in that case. Um, but that was a very, very, very solid fight. That's how the fight should look. Then here, um, there's a wall up on that shutter that we're gonna crouch through. The wall disappears when Homunculus Gamma, uh, when he howls here. So when that, like, purple flash happens, we're able to slide through. Here at the very start of this fight, I Beast Legion, Power Charge, and then uh, Spicy Cobra, switch over to Sword Legion, and... You want to slash the line that's in between uh, those two guys when you have the angle to do it. Uh, they can be a bit mean with like blocking it, uh, but eventually it works out. And then I power charge and round sword here. I want to make sure I do that before I end this wave so that I can send my legion over here and start uh, killing these guys. So that ideally I kill both of the guys in the middle before the shield guys are able to shield them. Which is what happened here. This was an incredible fight. That's exactly how it should go. And then I switch back to Beast Legion. Um, because we have to dig up stuff here. So I don't uh, ride on Beast Legion there just because ideally I like run forward a bit and then send my Legion at the the pile to dig. My Legion kind of got stuck on the wall there, so that didn't work, but there's not really a reason to ride on Beast Legion there, just because it's such a short distance you're traveling. Um, and then here we switch to Arm Legion, because Arm Legion dashing is very good, and there's a lot of goop on the floor that we have to avoid, and Arm Legion dashes gets us through that. We also have to open doors with him. And then I switch to Beast Legion here at the end, uh, so that I have enough charge to make it through all the way. But yeah, Homunk Gamma is wreaking havoc. All these officers are shooting at it. He doesn't care. He's a big boy. He just takes it all. Uh, you want to purposefully be slow there, uh, so we don't ride on Beast Legion, because if you go too quickly... Uh, you get a delay before this cutscene happens, but you can tell when you've done it right by um, when you run into this section, there's a wall that pops up behind you. As long as that comes up, you know that you're fine and that the cutscene's gonna play. So then the next fight's a bit weird. Um, we have to use an elevator to get to the next floor. We can't really use the elevator when there are enemies around. I swear in my casual playthrough of this game, which I don't have recorded anywhere, 
Um, I swear I was able to use the elevator even when these guys were out. I kind of just ran through and was able to use the elevator. But I haven't been able to replicate it at all. <laughs> I've tried, it just won't happen again. So, um, using sword lesion and gun here, you kind of just plow through everything, especially with round sword, having that constant DPS circle up. Um, you just plow through all these aberrations. They go down really quickly. And then go beast to get to the elevator. And then before this fight, I power charged Spicy um, and switched to Sword Legion, which at the very beginning, I put up Round Sword, and basically the entirety of this fight, I just do baton combos with the Sinks. Uh, Gladius combos can be good against the, so uh, the Shield guy, but Round Sword basically uh, deals with that for you anyways. And it's a bit hard to get a full Gladius combo out on this fight just because of how much stuff can hit you. But that fight wasn't too bad. It also wasn't too good. Uh, but I definitely had worse fights there. And then at the beginning of this, this is Homunculus Gamma. So we Power Charge, Fishy Water, and Round Sword. And then you have to do enough damage to push him to the second phase, where he kind of stands up. Um, which should be just about there. Yeah. Uh, and here I uh, send my Legion forward, Power Charge, and then Round Sword. And I break both of the feet here, and then do enough damage, as, as much damage as I can. You don't want to get his health to be below the U, uh, that last U in Homunculus. Uh, and then I just wait for him to put his arm down. When you destroy one of his arms, he falls over. Um, and then I Power Charge and just do baton combos on his back. Uh, breaking his other arm gets him back up. Hitting his head in a certain way can get him back up as well, so just doing the combos on the back leg is safer. Um, but that skips him. Normally when he takes enough damage, he runs off the building, jumps up to that building you can see in the distance over there, um, and then you have to use Arrow Legion to shoot him off. Uh, but you don't have to do that here as long as you do the fight correctly. Now we get into one of the shortest files in the entire run. Um, it's basically just two sections. There's a cleanup section, and then there's an astral plane where we get Axe Legion. I actually really like cleanup. Um, it's one of the most movement heavy parts in the entire run. And it goes pretty quickly once you have it uh, down to like a certain point. So again, more downtime at the start of the file. There's like a solid two minutes worth of time at the start of this file for just donations because it's basically just walking around to get to clean up. There's not really much that goes on. Um, and again here, dodge roll out of the call in order to get rid of the delay and then go into Beast Legion. Uh, it's important here in this underground tunnel section to not run too close to the pillars because there's like those, uh, what are they, like the water canisters or whatever uh, up against the things. Uh, there's shopping carts as well. And if you crash into those, Akira gets mad at you, so you don't want to run into those. This elevator also takes, like, ten years. It's so long. 
It's the same elevator that we just went up to get to the Proto Legions fight and the Homunculus Gamma fight. Um, it takes so long. Trupa, what's up? <laughs> this run already happened. Um, but yeah, this is the the cleanup section. It's it's long, but it's cool. Arm Legion dashes are really good to get into cleanup there. Uh, it's just faster than Beast Legion. Uh, so then throughout cleanup, I use a I use a mix of Arrow Legion and Arm Legion. Arrow Legion because Arrow Legion moves really fast. Arm Legion because you have to move stuff around, and Arm Legion's really good at tanking these big balls that uh, the gates send at us, which knock you off. Um, so throughout cleanup, there's a percentage at the top. Every time you, like, clear a certain section, it goes up by 4%. So as long as you, like, keep an eye on that, it's easy to see when you miss something. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Trufa. I appreciate it. Um, so here, since the, the platform that I need to get on isn't down yet, I pick up some stuff at the bottom. Um, and then Arm Legion, you can dash, send your Legion, get back into it, and land on this platform, which is nice. Uh, and then just dash off the side to land on this bottom platform to close the gate. Gate closing also gives you another 4%. Um, and here I can see that I've missed something, which it's at the, the very beginning. Because I should be at 36% there, but I was at 32. Um, and then in this section, I do another... Uh, mix. I'm not sure if I actually use Arrow Legion in this run. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, but I should be, if I'm not. Uh, Arrow Legion to come out through this side. It's weird. So, like, Arrow Legion goes super fast. And if you go fast enough, it goes uh, onto, like, the, the platform on the other side. So you can't bring it around the back. Um, and then here, Arrow Legion to close the gate because Arrow Legion's super fast. So it's a lot of just, like, use Arm Legion whenever you're moving, uh, use Air Legion whenever you have to pick stuff up that's at a distance. And then this gets me to 72%. And then this is one of the, the weirder sections in cleanup that can go pretty bad. Uh, so you have to move this platform slightly forward a tiny bit so that you're able to chain bind at this gate. And every time you bind a gate, you want to immediately send your legion out, otherwise your legion acts super weird. Um, with the balls, it'll just like not interact with them the way it's supposed to. Um, also, when you send your legion out of the gate, it can get stuck like that. So that time, I was like trying to move my legion, and it was just stuck on the gate so it couldn't move. Um, but I get hit a lot here. Uh, if you get hit off, you can ZL, and it recovers you back onto the platform, which is nice. Yeah, for sure, Tom. Akira calls you nine minutes in. Um, uh, uh, an interesting point about Akira's call is if you get Akira's call when you're, like, on the way to the gate, or if you, if you see that you're about to get Akira's call on the way to the gate, you just immediately go into the gate because you can't go into the gate while Akira's talking. Um, otherwise... Going into the gate last is nice, but if you're ahead enough that Akira's gonna call you as you get up to the gate, it's better to just uh, get into the gate and then Akira will call you while you're in here, so you don't have to wait for him. Uh, at the start here, I power charge Sweet Peach, and then uh, power charge again with Sword Legion, since that's off cooldown because I used uh, Beast Legion power charge. This entire time, as I'm doing the sync, I just wanted to target the big guy, and I couldn't. Uh, 
And then as I killed that last enemy, I switched to Beast and Power Charge, and then switched back to Sword. And do Gladius combos that these guys spawn in. If the fight is slightly slow, you can Round Sword again as well, which is kind of nice. Um, but if the fight goes well, you don't need a second Round Sword. But that's cleanup. It's one of the more movement heavy sections. It's pretty cool. The route for it now is pretty awesome. Um, and now there's a bit more downtime again. Good time for donations. Where we kind of just have to run through this section. Um, yeah, just run through this section to get to the next astral plane. And, yeah. Okay, cool. I will take a look. But yeah, we have to, we have to run through this section in a very... A specific way. So as you can see when we reach certain parts, there's a sound that plays. That's the sound of a wall getting destroyed. Um, so the like optimal path to get through here that we could take is walled off until we reach certain points. So we have to um, we have to run in a very specific way through the rooms to be able to get rid of all the walls that would block us. Oh, this is one of the harder movement sections. Um, so, that jump in particular is incredibly hard. I, uh, I do a very specific pattern of dashes there, uh, where the second dash I do is a short dash that isn't off the ledge, so that I have enough height. Um, this skip was found by Mitchell. I do a modified version of it. I do it slightly from a different starting position, which makes it a tiny bit faster. Um, but it skips the fight that we would have to do here. Uh, we get down to this elevator and then uh, are able to chain jump up to here to skip the trigger for the fight. This entire astral plane on its own is completely broken uh, with skips that Mitchell has found. It's crazy. But the, 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 the movement as a whole is like a combination of stuff that Mitchell had found. Uh, I modified the opening movement from stuff that Cap had done. Uh, but it's very, very fast. It's very cool. And then I worked a, a good amount on an Axe Legion strat as well. So that fight is pretty good. Um, and so this, we're supposed to do three puzzles in order to move these blocks. But the, the, the block that we need to get to the button kind of just floats in the air. Mitchell found this skip as well. By doing, by moving that block in a specific way, uh, we're able to just skip all three puzzles that we otherwise would have had to do. It's really cool. Um, and then we use Arm Legion to move these blocks to get to the Axe Legion fight. And then I have a very, very specific strat for this fight, which makes it go pretty well. And I'm pretty sure PB pulled it off well. Uh, so at the very beginning, I do uh, Beast Legion, Power Charge, I use a Sweet Peach, I switch to Sword Legion, and I Round Sword to break uh, Axe Legion's bubble. I switch to Gladius, and I do the Somersault Sync. Ideally, I'm behind him. I wasn't in this case, but the somersault normally gets Axe Legion down to the ground where you can chain bind him and then power charge Gladius combo him from behind to get the blindside damage. And then you can switch to Baton and Baton combo him to kill. But that fight can be a huge mess. There's a damage floor, the, those like pulsing things on the ground that you can see behind him that damages you when you stand on it if he hangs around back there it gets super weird 
Um, but yeah, it's it's a really good strat. It makes that fight go just about the way it's supposed to every single time. The only caveat is Akira, when he shoots him at the start, can break one of the explosive crystals in the very back that you can see there off in the distance. And that immediately breaks Axe Legion's shield, in which case you kind of just have to hope and pray that he uh, comes forward on his own afterwards. Because if he doesn't, he just hangs around in the back and it sucks. <laughs> so you just have to hope and pray that Akira doesn't do that. And if he does, that things go the way they're supposed to. But it's, it's unlikely to happen. It doesn't happen too often. Uh, then we have to start to file eight. This is one of the, or final nine, sorry. This is one of the quicker files to start. Uh, again, we don't restock at the vending machine in the HQ. We have enough drinks left over from the last file um, that we are able to budget our drinks properly in this file to not have to use that vending machine. And this is the, the file that we confront Jenna. It's very cinematic, especially playing it casually. This file is incredible. There's a lot of cool moments. It's a very fun file. It's one of the best files in the entire game. Uh, the, the next, this file and the next two are all incredibly fun. And they're some of the best parts in the room. Unfortunately, PV didn't have a great file 9 or 11. Um, but at least I can point out some of the common pitfalls that happen, which is nice. And so uh, before, before the first fight that we do, we pick up fishy waters here, restock on those good because we always want to have fishies. And then we get up to Homunculus Delta. Uh, this is one of the parts in the run uh, where you don't want to be mashing with A and B because if you overmash, uh, you back out of Akira's dialogue. It's the same with Hal at the start to uh, file six. If you back out, uh, you cancel his dialogue and it's sad. Uh, here I power charge fishy with beast at the start then switch to sword legion and do round sword a monkey of his delta gave me a really bad pattern here ideally he just puts his arm down at the very beginning and then you can gladius combo it um and then when he puts his head down here you want to not do what i'm doing and combo his arm but you want to combo his head because it's a weak point and you get extra damage uh but this entire fight fell apart so yeah Uh, but ideally, you do enough damage in that first phase so that when he comes up here, he's at 1 HP and you can just shoot him once. Obviously, that didn't happen in this run, uh, but the majority of the time it does happen. So then I kind of had to just improvise and do gun sinks here uh, and hope that it worked, which was not the best. <laughs> but it's incredibly unlucky that he gave me the opening that he did where he didn't put his arm down at all and that I was off on position afterwards. Uh, now we have the the biggest RNG fight in the run, which this split was horrible in PB. I think I've lost 30 here. Uh, but this is Homunculus Egg. This also has a skip. Which I'm not sure if PB actually did it. It might have messed it up. That might be part of the reason. But this is one of the easier skips in the run, too. Uh, so we can do Arm Legion to dash across those platforms. Every platform except for the first one, which is nice. Um, and then by moving your Legion up to the top of this block, we're able to change up onto it. Mitchell found the skip as well. Uh, it's a common theme of skips and Mitchell finding them. Uh, but we're able to skip moving a block with Arm Legion and skip detonating a block with Axe Legion. Then calling Axe Legion puts up a shield here. And unfortunately, I just got destroyed by everything hitting me and not letting me move for like 10 seconds straight. I just couldn't do anything. Because I was just getting pinballed back and forth between enemies and the poisonous gas. Which doesn't ever happen outside. It's never happened for me outside of this one run. Um, and then you want to analyze this before the call happens. But because of how that movement went, I didn't get it. Uh, but analyzing this moves these two blocks out of the way. And then we have another thing that we detonate with Axe Legion. Uh, as as soon as Axe Legion stabs the thing that he's going to detonate, you can change Legion as well. 
So I switch to Arm Legion for movement here. Um, and then switch back to uh, Axe Legion to detonate this block. Then we put up Round Sword. Uh, Round Sword, again, with the DPS circle. We're able to pull our Legion back there. And he breaks um, the lasers that are getting generated. And then I dismiss my Legion and call it back again so that I get the shield up. So this is the Homunculus Egg fight. It's the most RNG based fight in the entire run. Um, but basically there's eyes, little targets that appear on the egg, and you have to hit those. Um, and you can hit those either with your Legion or with Gun. Um, so if you're extremely lucky, the targets just appear right next to each other, and the Gun combo carries over, and you just kill them with one Gun combo. Uh, you have to kill two each time that he puts the wall back up. So two the first time, two the second time. Um, there's also a lot of enemies around here. There's tentacles on the ground that'll grab you if you walk over them. It's hard to target what you want to. This fight was awful in PB. Um, as I said earlier, it's just a mess. I couldn't move where I wanted to. I can target what I wanted to. I kept getting hit with stuff. It was awful. It's the worst I've had this fight go in recent memory. Um, again, like I just fall into goop when I'm trying to combo to kill it. I couldn't do move or do anything at that point. But I lose like 30 to the split. It was really bad. And then immediately after you want to run specifically to this spot because this is where the gate appears. And if you're standing there, you're able to get into the gate before uh, Olive calls you. If you don't get into it, then you have to mash through her call, which is slow. Uh, then we have Jenna 1. Jenna 1's relatively consistent outside of her dodging the attack that you do at the start. So ideally, you send your Legion forward at the start, chain bind her, and that's it. Right, it's good. Um, but she can dodge and not get stunned at the beginning. Um, and then you can cream puff, power charge cream puff round sword and gladius combo. I started Sweet Peach in here instead. I do, uh, originally, I was using Sweet Peach on the Proto Legions in Jenna 3, but now I don't need to do that. Um, but you can use either or here. If you want to have Sweet Peach for Jenna 3 just as a safety, it's Cream Puff gets the job done here. Um, there's not really much of a benefit to using Sweet Peach instead. I don't think I ever talked about Cream Puff Sodas. Cream Puff Sodas give you attack plus 25% and they give you extra defense. Um, but they're the least potent drink that we have to use in the run. Because everything else either gives attack 50% or attack 100% uh, from the items that we use, the other three. Uh, and then we have Cryus. This is the, I said at the, the very start, uh, that the motorcycle returns. This is the one time where it returns. We have a boss fight here, which is pretty cool. So basically, uh, for this section, how it works is you basically just get infinite straight ways that the motorcycle goes on until you kill what's in front of you. So at the start, we have to detonate those two cars, and then there's this flying chimera that we have to kill as well. And then it, like, loads the fact that, okay, you finished this part of the fight, uh, you can move on to the next section, right? So that's how this entire section works, so you need to kill things as fast as you can, otherwise you just start losing time. Also, not getting hit here is nice. 
Uh, just evading through the cars gives you iframes. It's good to not get hit by stuff. Um, because that means you have more health for Cryus and you can take more hits. Uh, they give you a callback of this truck, which just immediately gets destroyed uh, by this big, big, big boy, big arm guy, uh, which shooting him in the, the back at the very beginning gives you blindside damage, and then his weak point transitions to be his head. So I try to position myself so that some of my shots will hit his head um, once he does do that change. We also have our Legion here, which we didn't have Legion before but you can send your legion. He does the spin, and so you want to time sending your legion so that it's at the end of the spin um, to optimize the damage that the legion does as well. And then we have uh, four more aberrations to kill here before the Cryus fight. And there he is, Cryus. So Cryus, you just want to stand in the middle pretty much and shoot him and send your Legion out in the, the entire time. Um, he has very obvious tells for when he's going to do attacks. Um, so they're relatively easy to dodge. There's some points when you want to like intentionally take a hit just because you can get more damage from it. Um, but, yeah, and it's basically just spam shooting and spam your legion. And then at the, at the very end he has a big laser that he starts charging up. And ideally, you kill him before the laser comes out, because um, it hits hard. <coughs> and then at the end of this fight, I switch to fishy water so that I have my fishy water up. Uh, I switch to beast at the very beginning here, and towel, um, and then I would power charge and baton. Or, uh, power charge, switch to Gladius and do the Somersault Sync to knock Jenna out of the air. But she played very nice here and just came down to the ground so I didn't have to do the Somersault Sync. And I could just combo her. Um, chain binding her, getting behind her with the power charge Gladius combo and getting the blindside damage makes that fight super free. But that's about how the fight should go every single time. If she's up in the air, you just do the, the somersault sink and it drags her back down to the ground. And then as you can see here, um, so I still have fishy water up because of how the Jenna 2 fight went. And since the Jenna 2 fight normally goes that way, I don't have to throw an item here. Um, unfortunately, these proto legions weren't the fastest things in the world because I accidentally chain jumped and almost sent this guy off a ledge. Um, but it was fine. I switched to Arm Legion and Gun here just to be set up for the rest of the fight. And then you can do Arm Legion Dash. Uh, two dashes gets you to this platform, and then another two, and then uh, jumping to your Legion and doing the midair dodge roll gets you to the last platform. I power charge with Beast so that I don't have uh, power charge on Sword Legion on cooldown. And I want to get right up to Jenna so that I'm getting the round sword damage on her when I do those gun sinks. And whenever she puts her arm down like that, I do gladius combos on her. Um, if there's a time period where I see that my legion charge is like super low, I normally dismiss my legion so that I don't have it go into charge. Um, she gave me a pretty bad pattern here, which is unfortunate. Um, and I also ran my legion out because as I was about to kill her, she put her arm down and killed my legion. Uh, which lets her get another attack out here, which also got her to freeze me. Normally she shouldn't be able to attack there at all, so it kind of sucks. <laughs> um, and then again, just gun sinks to kill her with the round sword damage from the legion.
and we get more good downtime for donations. It's like another two minutes just worth of downtime here at the end of the fire. Because, uh, so this section you fuse with your legion because you've been like pushed to the limit, you're about to die. Um, your legion's instincts take over and you fuse together with it. Um, and Akira tries to stop you and bring you back, but you kind of just get to beat him up a lot. And it's very cool and fun. And the game wants you to like wiggle the joysticks around to not hit him. But it's faster to not do that and faster to just beat him up. So it's just time to sit here and watch Akira get beat up. And a good time for donations. And now we're getting to the very end. Only a half hour left. Two more finals to go. But this is file 10. Uh, basically, Yosef's evil now. Uh, he just brought in a bunch of guys and kicked you all out. And was like, oh, these are, these are the ravens. And he also like tried to kill you by shooting you off a bridge. Um, because you fused with your legion, so. Yeah. We're in our own little hideout underground now. Uh, because we all got kicked out in our own. So here, uh, this is the this is where I do the last cell menu. So I buy uh, sweet peaches and the fishy waters that I need. And I sell a bunch of items. I oversell here. Uh, I don't need to sell this much. But uh, selling stuff so that I have enough to upgrade baton two more times and have enough money to upgrade everything for the or to buy drinks for the rest of the run. So here we just ride Beast Legion. Uh, we have to do two cases here in order to trigger, uh, like, to progress to the next section. So we close this gate here, um, switching to Arrow Legion just because Arrow Legion's faster. And then we go to fight some thugs here, which they go down pretty quickly. I cream puff here. I don't know if I ended up getting the cream puff out in this run because I, I normally like I power charge and try to cream puff, um, but depending on what they do, uh, I did get the cream puff out. Depending on what they do, it can be a lot uh, harder to actually get the cream puff out, which it just makes the fight go like slightly faster, um, but it's not necessary. And then here we have to repair a machine. Um, I accidentally dodge rolled off of it because I wanted to switch to uh, Sweet Peach Soup here so that I have it ready for the next fight. And when I went to switch to it, I double X input and ended up using it. So I had to dodge off the repair in order to cancel the item usage. But yeah, we just use Sword Legion to kill everything here. Um, we don't use any of the abilities either, just because using an ability pulls you off of the device that you're repairing, so that makes it slightly slower.
Um, but here what I do is the Legion does that like three hit combo and then I grab it and move it um, to instantly refresh it to make it attack again. And ideally the fight goes that way and you kill the thing before you finish repairing the machine because you need that thing to die in order for um, the quest to complete. So it's, it's good to be able to kill it before having to uh, get off the repair. I've also switched to Gladius for this upcoming fight. Um, we have to chain bind this thief. And then I power charge here and I throw a Sweet Peach, which is why I needed to switch to Sweet Peach before. And here I try to send Beast Legion out to stop this guy from going underground, which I haven't gotten it in a while, but I used to get it in practice. Um, it's hard. Depending on what he does, it can be impossible to get that off in time. Um, and then I Howl here to paralyze all of these guys so that they aren't able to go underground. I send my Legion at that guy to kill him, and then Gladius combo the last guy, so that neither of those two guys are able to go underground. And then we're almost done with the dump, the dangerous dump. Uh, basically, we see Olive is running somewhere, and we gotta follow her to protect her, keep her safe. Because she doesn't have a legion. Uh, but she's going after Brenda, because Brenda's still with Yosef. Um, but she's kind of getting chased out of Neuron now, and uh, we gotta go find her and help her. So this is the stealth section. This is the mandatory stealth section where if you get caught it actually sets you back, unlike the earlier on. Um, but I use air to chain bind this guy. Uh, switch over to arm for faster movement. Uh, this stealth section is actually really cool, the route for it. Um, so we chain bind, uh, chain jump to get across this guard's view, and then you're able to just dash over to the other side. And as long as you're not slow, um, you're on a good enough cycle here so that you can just dash past the guy at the top and he's not able to see you at all. And then I switch to Arrow Legion here, and we chain jump up to this little partition thingy, and then chain bind the last two guys. And I just miss my Legion here when I check this to make sure that I have full charge on my Legion. Uh, this last part's a little bit tricky. Uh, I do two dashes and then grab the ladder as this guy sees me. Um, if you miss the ladder at all, uh, then you have to redo that last section. But as long as you get on the ladder, he can't actually stop you. Now we have uh, two two fights, so power charge, sweet peach, and switch to uh, sword legion, and do guns combos just because they they shred through the smaller aberrations, and then switch to gladius to deal with the the bigger shielded guys, and I power charge again. And then we switch back to gun to finish off everything else. And then go back on to Beast and move into the next fight. And again, Power Charge, Sweet Peach at the start. And I do a mix of either Baton and Gun combos here. Um, again, trying to change targets before I kill stuff. So that I don't get the finish off prompts. But especially with these smaller guys that die really quickly, it's a bit harder to do. And then we power charge uh, as these last guys spawn in. And baton combos to take these guys out. And again, I switched targets, so the back hit of the sink killed the fire guy, and I didn't get the finish off prompt, which is nice. 
And then this is a skip that I found unintentionally. Uh, it's officer skip, I've been calling it. Um, but basically, uh, there's this guy who shows up, Kronos, and he's shooting us. Uh, but if you go down this staircase and clip out the side, normally these three officers on the side here uh, go are triggered and they run up and then you have to wait while Kronos just shoots at them and knocks them all over. Um, but by clipping out of the staircase that way, it stops those officers from ever getting triggered. Now here we use Arm Legion punches to break the bubble. I switch to Gladius. I power charge with Sword Legion, do the first hit of Somersault to knock him out of the air. Uh, round Sword, Fishy Water, call my Legion to me, and then do Gladius combos. This fight didn't go the way that I wanted it to because he floated up because of how my Legion was standing. Um, so he like floated over my Legion and then I had to gun sink him at the end. But ideally I just killed with that one Gladius combo. Um, so that vending machine there, and I think I have a better idea of how it works now, is if there's still an enemy in combat behind you, um, you can't use that vending machine, but sometimes you're able to use it, sometimes you're not. I just assume I'm not going to be able to use it now, um, but you can tell based on the icon above it when you run next to it. It's either gray or white. If it's white, you can use it. Hi, JV, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Uh, but at that vending machine, you could buy spicy cobras, which are good to have for file 11. Ideally, you only use, uh, it only makes one section faster. It makes the start of the elevator fight in file 11 faster. Otherwise, you just use a cream puff there. Um, so it's not a big issue not being able to use that vending machine. Hello, cool guy. What's up, I'm JV? And then this is another uh, timed section, so good downtime for donations. But this is this is one of the bigger downtime sections, and this is where uh, playing as male character makes it faster, right? Because Akira's lines and all of that stuff, um, as well as some stuff in File 11, female Akira talks faster, but female main character is cool so I play her uh, but we have to wait through just three sections of voice lines that play out that are all timed hey you're on PD pace again oh yeah for sure yeah, wonderful downtime for donations This is one of the last sections of downtime in the run as well. Well, I guess that's not true, because there's the elevator in File 11. That's really the last section, but... Yeah. But yeah, Yosef's going crazy. He just killed Akira. Um, but Akira infuses with his Legion, just like we did. Time sections are not the best. How's it going, B-Boy? At least the, the lines that are going is pretty good. Great time for donations. You know it. This also has my favorite voice line in the entire game coming up right now. This line right here, not even death could stop you. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Incredible line. Hal is great. And then on this line, uh, it's a long shot, but it's the only shot we have. 
You want to power charge fishy water because that carries over into fusion, which is a new mechanic that we unlock right now. We can fuse with our legion, um, and we just go crazy. Uh, we do dodge canceling here, so uh, you can dash or dodge to cancel your combo. We do that before the longer finisher that the fusion attacks have. Uh, but the, the fishy water power charge makes that fight against Akira go incredibly faster than it otherwise would. Um, normally there's like a huge cinematic mashing thing that you go through, but we just do enough damage to kill him before any of that can happen. And now we get into the last file. The very end. The last file is very fast paced. It's an incredible file. It's very fun. Um, and it has some of the hardest fights in the run, too. So again, more downtime for donations, especially at the start of this file, because um, this is the pretty much the last section of downtime in the run, where we have to wait for an elevator here. Uh, but this elevator basically just goes until the voice lines run out. So, more stuff, and I kind of just spin around. Well, like we. Would, would do something like that. Akira. Whatever he's doing, it's wrong. We've got to stop him. Uh, we switch to Arm Legion here to open the elevator up when the elevator gets stopped. Do you copy? We got out of the elevator. And then you can do a dodge roll, leaving the elevator, which skips a trigger that makes you walk normally, which is why that door pops in so weirdly is because you're not supposed to be able to get that far. Um, but the dodge roll that we do skips a trigger that would slow us down. It also basically ensures that Akira runs all the way up here, because uh, this cutscene triggers when Akira reaches the, that room instead of when you reach it. Uh, and then I power charge Fishy before the fight, like always. Gotta go fast. And then round sword at the start here. And we just want to... Um, Two baton combos with sinks on the clones. Ideally, you focus on the clones that are further in the back because more uh, come up from the from the front side, and you can kind of just go in a line here and kill them. So you want to kill the ones that are closer to Akira first. And then this is the second to last vending machine we use, and I buy uh, cream puffs here, I buy sweet peach soups, and I buy fishy waters. If you buy uh, spicy cobras at the vending machine in file 10 before Akira, you don't have to buy cream puffs here because you wouldn't use them. But I guess they're not bad to have for safety anyways. Um, here, power charge, fishy water. We just spam fishy waters here because you can restock again. Um, and then round sword with sword legion. The smaller aberrations at the start there, the three smaller ones die in basically a hit and a round sword hit, pretty much. Um, so they die super fast, and then we do baton combos with the sinks on the bigger guys in the back. And you can power charge again if you want to, because the sword power charge is off cooldown because you power charged with beast legion, right? Uh, here we have to switch to arrow legion to hit controls in the back here. Um, in order to trigger this bridge. So basically the run wants you to, the, the game wants you to use every single legion um, here, which we use everyone but Axe Legion, because Axe Legion is absolutely useless for what they want us to do. Uh, again, power charge, fishy water before the fight, go in, round sword. I start with gun here, 
So I do gun attacks and then try to send my Legion at it and then jump up to him and do Gladius combos. But uh, Ark was being a bit weird and mean to me, uh, so this fight didn't go exactly as planned, but it was still very good. Aerial Gladius combos just do a ton of damage, like we talked about on Kalino. Um, and then you want to switch to Arm Legion here. Your positioning at the start here is actually extremely important, which I was not good at my positioning at the start, and it threw off everything else I wanted to do. Um, so I barely made it through that first wall. You're able to skip all three walls if you do it correctly. Mitchell has a setup for it. I do it a little bit differently. Um, but they both work. Um... But basically, you want to dash two times forward, send your legion, jump to it, and then immediately send your legion and jump again. Since I barely made it past the first wall, I was completely off on my positioning, so I sent my legion basically into the left wall. So I was off on my jump for the last wall, and I couldn't do what I wanted to do. Um, and then we have this, like, hallway gauntlet where, that we just have to run through with Beast Legion. It's actually pretty scary. If something hits you, you just die and have to redo the entire Beast Legion section. Um, which kind of sucks. Um, and then open that with Beast. And as you can see in the top left, I didn't explain this before, but we have a charge bar now. Um, which fills up as we do sinks. And when it's at full charge, we're able to go fusion. Uh, like we did on Akira. Which we use our fusion here on this Raven fight. Each Raven dies in three hits, or two hits if you crit. Um, again, we Fishy Water Power Charge before the fight so that we have that up um, for the entirety of this, so we're doing more damage. Um, and then I dismiss. You can dismiss early with R. Because this fight wasn't going too well, I dismiss so that I don't run out of charge, um, because we need to have enough charge to fusion again on the last boss. And then here's the last vending machine we hit. The reason we were able to spam fishy waters so much is there's a vending machine right here that we can buy three more fishy waters from. Um, and that's the last vending machine we hit for the rest of the run. Then we have the elevator fight. So this is, uh, if you had spices, this is where you would use the one spicy. Um, you would spicy at the very start of elevator. Since I don't have spices, I cream puff. And then you can start a gun combo early just to get ready for the sink on the big guy. Um, and again, power charge cream puff at the start with Beast, so that you have power charge off cooldown. Uh, you want a Gladius combo and focus the girl in the middle, because she puts up a shield. Um, and ideally you kill her before she's able to get that shield out. I was not able to, so then you have to use uh, Arm Legion punches in order to break that shield. You could also break it with Sword Legion Round Sword, but you want to have Round Sword up for the next section of this fight. So it's better to break it with Arm Legion. And then I power charge Sweet Peach and Round Sword here, uh, so that we have Round Sword up. And then you just want a baton combo, and basically just focus the big guys, because your Legion and Round Sword can kill all of the, the little guys. These also freeze you. If you get frozen, you can chain jump out of freeze, which is nice. Um, and then you have Scylla, where power charge, you can Round Sword as well. Um, but just baton combo and sync. The more syncs that you do here, the more charge you have built up, which is always nice. So at the very end there, I held down ZR, right, because we have a charge attack, where you hold, and then that immediately goes into a sync. So I charge synced at the very end just to get an extra sync out, which builds a bit more charge. Um, here, before we talk to Akira, or before we get close enough to Akira, power charge, fishy water, switch to sword. And then at the very start, you want to round sword with sword legion, and basically just combo like crazy on Akira. Arrow Legion can be really mean. If the fight's going poorly, you can just chain jump into Akira to immediately knock him over. Ideally, though, you just knock him over with the baton combo you do at the very start. But again, Arrow Legion can be pretty bad. Uh, there's two ways to approach the start of this fight. So basically, since you already used the Fishy at the previous fight, you have Fishy up here. What I wanted to do here, what I should have done here, is chain bound... Uh, Beast Legion, right, at the very beginning, and then you kill Beast Legion. The only time you don't want to chain bind Beast Legion at the start is when Arm Legion does what he just did. He shoots out a black hole and it sucks you in. 
Um, that's the only time where you just want to run over to Arden Legion and then chain bind him first. Um, but chain bind Gladius combos takes care of those. Uh, then after those two are dead, Beast Legion, Sweet Peach, and then switch back to Gladius. Um, and you can do a Gladius combo on Axe Legion. The hit before the sync staggers, which is really nice. Um, and then after that first Gladius combo, you can switch back to uh, Baton. If you're ever like low on health or low on charge, you can also finish them off because that fully refills health and charge. Um, here, I tried and failed to chain bind Arrow Legion because the camera switched on me. Um, so I didn't get to do what I want to do, but I'm going to do it anyways later so I can explain it then. Um, but these Nemesis Legions can go, like, south very quickly. Uh, but you want to stun it, chain bind it, power charge, and then Gladius combo, and that kills Arrow Legion before he's able to teleport away. Um, it gets him to, like, 1 HP, and then you can either finish him off or gun him, whatever you want to do. And then we have Noah Core. Uh, there's a platforming section that leads up to it. At this point, I want to build as much charge as I can. So, um, there's something which I haven't done at all on the run because it's not very useful. At least from what I can tell from all the runs I've done. Um, but if you hit and then wait a bit, and then hit again, you get a delay attack, which allows you to instantly go into a sync. With Sword Legion, that sync combos into another sync, so for every one of those two hit combos, you're able to do two syncs. Um, so here, I just spam that like crazy, because we fall abuse here, um, and it progresses, um, it just progresses to the next section, as if you completed the platforming. So that first punch, the second punch, and then this laser section that he does here, you can just fall off and it works. Um, and I just spam the delay combos with the sinks to get as much extra charge as I can. Yo, Itty, what's up? Just in time for the end. Um, and then again here, I can get one combo out before uh, the attack that actually matters. So when he smashes down with his left arm, that's when we actually have to start doing the platforming. Um, again, I switched to Air Legion because Air Legion's faster. It just gives me a bit more leeway with these platforms um, to make sure that I'm actually on them at the right time. This platforming section isn't very hard, especially when you know where all of the blocks are. Um, but you can still mess it up. You can, like, overshoot a platform or whatever. And then after every jump, I basically just dismiss because I had one run where on this last jump, I ran out of Legion charge and had to redo the entire section. Um... And then at the very end, again, now that we're done with the platforming, switch back to Sword Legion, do more delay syncs to just build up as much charge as I can, because again, we want to have full charge for the final boss. And here we go. Noah Core. Um, so we start this off Power Charge, Sweet Peach and then Round Sword, and I run and slide up to him and call my Legion to me. Uh, and you want to do a full combo with the Sinks, and I dodge out of this combo and then immediately do another combo with the Sinks. And then after this second combo, I do a Delay Sink. So I do Delay uh, with the two Sinks, and that gives enough time for Power Charge to come up and for him to hit me, so then I can immediately go into another full baton combo with the Sinx to kill. I don't actually kill, so I charge and do a Sink to kill. Um, if I'm ever low on damage, I just charge Sink at the very end to get another Sink out, uh, because it helps build charge. Best boss? For sure. <laughs> There's a whole wall section that that boss does at the first phase, but the, the combo we do pushes him past the HP gate to not be able to do that, which saves a good amount of time. And then we have Noah Prime, the final boss, the hardest boss in the run. I start with Round Sword and then Fishy Water. Um, the reason I don't power charge is because he can do what he just did there, where I don't actually get the Fishy Water out, and then it would be a waste to get the, the power charge out. Um, he gave me a really bad pattern here with teleporting. Um, but basically, you want to get behind him as much as you can and just do baton sinks on him. 
Once he stomps, that means he's gonna teleport away. Um, so then I switch to Beast Legion, send my Beast at him, Howl him to paralyze him, and then uh, Power Charge and switch to Gladius. Actually, I don't even have to switch to Gladius because I got burned there, so I couldn't do what I wanted to do. Um, he's up in the sky. You can check which one he is with Iris, and Gun just knocks him out of the sky, which is nice. Um, I lost my Legion, so I didn't have anything I could do there. Um, but I did the Somersault Sync, and then just Gladius hits on his back to get the extra damage into kill. Uh, and then we have a little bit of cool movement tech we can do at the very end here, which you can do earlier in the fight as well when he teleports away the first time. You just have to guess which direction he's going. Um, but if you wrap your chain around Noah Prime when he teleports away, he actually just drags you the rest of the way. Uh, we use our last fishy water here so that we have fishy up. I switch to Beast. I ride on it a bit so that I get the right angle to do that uh, send lesion at him. And then I howl him to knock him out of the sky and power charge. And since we have Power Charge and Fishy Water up, and full fusion, we just go crazy on his back with fusion hits. Again, dodge canceling out of the finisher, and just smacking him around to kill him. But, Noah Prime is an incredibly difficult fight. It can go way worse than it just looked. Um... It's very, very, very easy to die to that fight. He has a lot of attacks that hit super hard. Um, and he can just do a lot of stuff that slows you down. But um, it's It's been pretty good recently. I practice the fight a lot. I have a way of going about it that seems to work pretty well. So it's, it's good. And we're at the very end now. Uh, Akira is inside Noah which was Yosef originally, and they like all merged together, and he's a big, big thingy thing. Um, but Akira's in him, and we gotta kill him. So, bye-bye, Akira. You won't be missed. And timing ends on either uh, selecting all right or I can't. And that's, that's the run. That's it. That is Astral Chain any percent without abilities. Uh, it's a very cool run. Um, it's... Got a, it's got a lot going on. It's a very, um, it's a very fast-paced run outside of the downtime at the start of a lot of the files. Um, it's got really cool movement, a lot of skips that you can do, a lot of really cool fights that play out well, and it's, um, it's pretty great. It's a pretty great run. I hope everybody enjoys watching it. I hope the commentary was good. Um, I feel like I explained things pretty well. This was definitely more of an informative commentary style than one for entertainment, which would be different in a marathon setting. Um, especially uh, GDQ specifically. Um, Cap, oh, I the game's muted now because I muted it for my PB song, but my PB song is also muted, so we just have no audio for the rest of this. Um, but yeah, at GDQ specifically, uh, there's going to be a few Astral Chain runners there who I would have on couch for commentary. Uh, yes, Cap, if he's able to, uh, Gren's going to be there as well. So we would have some great commentary as well. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully uh, this was good. I hope everybody who's watching in chat enjoyed, maybe learned something. Um, but I think this should be a good resource for anybody who's wanting to learn the run. And it's also... Uh, a good tool for submissions to marathons as well. Eddie, I wish you would too. <laughs> but yeah, that's Astral Chain. That's it for now. Um, and I'm going to stop the recording there.